Okay, here we go. I um, need to pop this out so I can actually see it. Ba 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 ber. Do 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 do. We'll see. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Make sure. Oh, hello. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, welcome, Michael. Uh. I made sure I grabbed everything and had a little friend to do the thing. I need to pick up from a certain spot, and I don't remember where I left off. So let's hope that this is the right one. Yay. Um. Um. I think. All right, where am I? Do I need to? Uh, we we did the right thing, didn't we? Oh wait. Oh, this is. Oh, this is spoilers. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh god. Oh uh, no. Nope. Nope. This is way farther. Okay. <laughs> um. This is not the right one. Let's load an earlier save. Uh, it would be from... Oh god, where is it? Um... Yeah, I wanted to grab some food before doing this. Yes, I, um... Hopefully you can't see who's gone. Um, I'm gonna try and load this one. There we go! <laughs> that looks right. Um... I don't know if I fucked up in it. I can't remember how I got there, so hopefully this is gonna be fine. We should have this before going to Tizius. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where? Oh, I can't. I forgot. It's just clicking. If you've had your fill of hassling me, I'd like to be left alone. Okay. This blows. This is so fucking dumb. I am the whip in Bronya's hand, and you'd best get back before I crack. <laughs> oh god. There's also this part where... Yeah, that sounds great. L let's go, Joey. I knew this trip was a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> Beneath me. I can't believe Tizius is making me do this. She's always getting into things with her crazy theories and her political thoughts. She isn't making you do this, is she? She told you to stay out of it, actually. Yes, of course she told me to stay out of it. She always tells me to stay out of it, sweetie. But I can't resist organizing the pathetic lives of, tr 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 of trolls. Is so gosh darn addicting. This world is filled with inefficient management and regulatory malpractices and useless aesthetic bullet journals with garish color combinations and someone must do something about it. And who better to whip everyone into efficient machines of bureaucracy than Stelsa Sezat? An uh, auditor in training. Here's my card, darling. Ring if you need my services. Whoa, thanks. Um, I don't think we'll ever need an auditor. Hand that right back then. I hate to waste neon pink, neon pink cardstock. It makes... Takes me hours to bedazzle them. Aw. So you're not even a lawyer? A what? I mean, you're not even a legislator? How are you going to prosecute effectively? I may not be interested in judicial law, but I'm certainly more equipped than the so-called defense to handle this case. Besides, I can't resist a large clown man with the expensive blowout. He might decide to redecorate if I decide decline this opportunity. I actually cannot remember if I have already done this on this channel. I have played this part so many times. Uh, by redecorate, I mean he will repaint the car with a fresh coat of teal. Okay, well, I don't know. I still don't think anyone's forcing you to do this. Pish posh, it's much too late now that I... Now I'm in it to win it and I will crush the opposition under my impeccable troll, Louis Bidon. Patton stiletto heels. False even. 
I just wish I didn't have to play along with my dear Zizi's silly political fantasies. All right. What did you mean by silly political fantasies? Oh, uh, hmm. You know, the same old, same old, my ZZ. You did the court battle. I don't remember if you got the ending you wanted. I did the court battle? Oh, I'm fine with whatever ending I got. I should have probably checked before I hopped <laughs> on. Uh, hold up. Let me just... This should probably shouldn't show up. Uh, if I'm already past this, I would love to not have to do this again. Uh, videos, where's my videos? Content, I forgot, they changed the titling of this. Where's my, oh, whatever. Um, do, 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 uh Okay, well crap, where'd it go? Alright, well, if I've already done the court battle, I will pick it up where I left off. Um if anything stuff happened, I think I messed up, but that's okay. Um, the, I feel a little bad, but at the same time, I don't know, I'm not going to look up how to play. So, yeah. We were wearing a beanie. I don't remember the court somewhat. Okay, so I'm just going to summarize what happened because I don't, uh, that's, a, that's a huge gap of time between this and then. Because I didn't have a save file between that. Uh, basically I got to the point where, um... It was very clear that Daria didn't do the thing, and somebody else did something. It's kind of hinted that Branya had some power in it. Um, I was mostly hoping that I'd get Tagiri implicated into all this, but at the end I got, um, what's her face? Lanera. Lanera was the one who got taken away. And uh, we'll probably not see her again because bad things happen when you get pulled away by these subject later clown guys. Uh, so we'll pick up there just so I don't have to do that. Oh, you have the game over. End of the court battle and put. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause I I mess I fucked up. <laughs> I was like, oh well, this is fine. Um, but yeah, as it turns out, I don't actually know who actually did it. I'm pretty sure Branya did something and there's probably a way to save Lanera, but I'm gonna live with my decisions and we're gonna pick up from where I left off. Let's see here. So we, we did the right thing, didn't we? Daria didn't get blamed. The guilty party got punished. And Marvis will bring her back after he gives her a stern clown lecture. So why do I feel so tangled up about this? Um, well, he will bring her back, right? Actually, um, of course he will. <laughs> okay, that's good. Oh, Zephros, that's too kind. All right, let's go ahead and see what else they have to say. Just glad this is done with. Okay. Seems about right. Oh, she's sad. I do feel a little bit bad. <laughs> it is absolutely shameful how you had to watch my cloister fall apart. However, I shouldn't feel bad about it because one, Lanera attempted to indirectly call one of my girls. Two, things will be much better without someone trying to stir up discord all the time. And three, justice was served in the end. There will be less infighting all around. I'll put a brave face for everyone and we will have a safe and fun Jeevik week. Oh, she definitely did it. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I must retreat to lick my wounds and it's profane for you to gloat over me while I do so. 
Theseus, is that really what you wanted? Okay, I can't make that sound. Well, that didn't turn out like I thought it would. How so? I can't believe Lanera stole the book just to make Daria look bad. I mean, how petty can you get? Mm, not exactly. Huh? Come back in a sec. I'm busy writing up a debriefing for ya. Go talk to the others or something. Okay, well... That was quite the show. There could be something to this radical theory of hers. Besides, for the free-to-attend aspect, I personally would have charged for the whole performance. Are you kidding me? The Justice isn't, isn't some, some silly theatrical production. It's for the people! And the people demand entertainment, yes? Otherwise, what's the point of making the entire spectacle public? It's hypocritical to run a circus and then forbid the audience from buying popcorn. Uh, oh, hello, Mustard Chunk. Mustard Chuck. Uh, all hail the mighty glow cloud? <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, so I just finished my list of where you went wrong during the trial. Wait, what? In alphabetical order. Lanera didn't do shit. Tigiri was such a tool, you shouldn't have spent so much time on him. The true book thief elegantly navigated the social battlefield and avoided any detection whatsoever. Wanchi took advantage of the chaos and altered Lanera's diary with nail polish to make it look like Lanera tried to frame Daria, thus cementing her fate. You all took the bait, and voila, his honorable tyranny put Lanera on the chopping block. What? You knew that was happening the whole time, and you still let us victimize an innocent person? Eh, I guess. Put innocent in air quotes. I have no conscience of this game. Uh, this is Hive Swap, uh, episode two. I have pretty much all the other parts earlier in my YouTube channel. Um, I just am not good at editing, so I think I just wanted to finish this game and figure out how to, or get to the end of it, I guess. Um, if you know anything about a comic that was going on from like 2000, I want to say 10, 2009 or something, it's called Homestuck. Yeah, Homestuck. <laughs> uh, this is kind of the game that was kickstarted back in 2013. I kick, I helped with the kickstart and I just really wanted to play all the parts because I paid for it a long time ago. So <laughs> it's not bad. I just haven't been into Homestuck for a very long time. Uh, eh, I guess. Put innocent in air quotes and then I'd agree with you. Tell us who really stole the book. Mm, no. Why not? Someone who definitely sidesteps the legal system like that deserves the utmost respect. And I won't help them. They drove you all like a herd of wool beasts. It was rad. That's really corrupt behavior for a lawyer. For all your talk about truth and justice and stuff, why are you protecting a liar? Because a liar isn't necessarily the one who needs to be punished. The point of the law is not solely to punish the wicked, but rather to keep the tenuous balance of order in society. And with Lanera's conviction, the order was indeed kept, didn't you notice? A sense of relief fell over the bickering of Jadebloods and she was dragged away. It was simply harmonious. But if I had revealed the thief, it would have been an entirely different stickball game. If the thief were someone's friend, if they were a cornerstone of the community, and if they were declared guilty, it'd be sheer fucking chaos. Yeah, but you're not actually presenting the truth then. That's pretty sketchy. But Lanera's guilt became the truth. A bunch of truths had a smackdown in the truth arena, and the truth that maintained the most peace arose the victor. Caste drama was settled, order was maintained, and justice was served. Thus, my experiment was a smashing success. If I can recreate this scenario over and over again, and maintain order, allowing each caste to work out their issues through court dramatics, Evening out the playing field for all hemocasts, forgetting about this guilty until proven innocent garbage. 
I think that'd be pretty revolutionary, don't you? Thanks for gifting me a veritable boatload of evidence for my law theory, by the way. I'm totally gonna ace my senior sweep legislator thesis now. Are you kidding me? You played us like a fiddle just so you could try and prove your totally messed up law theory? Things don't become true just because they don't rock the boat. But Joey, this is incredible. It could change the whole world. What? I never would have imagined in a million sweeps that the court could maintain order and solve problems. But, but like this? Helping liars? Regular steps, kiddo. Put this in place, and maybe it'll grow into an actual working system one day. One where we maybe won't have to help liars either. Thanks again for helping to plant the seed of justice. Even though you won't get to reap what you've sown. Uh, yeah, I'm working on some other parts also for uh, explaining parts of the Homestuck universe from someone who is more of a casual fan than an actual, like, huge fan. Um, and also, yes, Toby Fox, uh, he made all the music for this game. Uh, he originally worked in Toby's, or not Toby's, Andrew Hussey, the creator of Homestuck's basement, which is why a lot of people think that he called it Undertale as kind of a joke, but... <laughs> He makes some pretty bomb music in this. All right, let's go. Oh, this is interesting. Gosh, that was crazy. I'm really glad to be out of there. Me too. I think the worst part of it is it was so unnecessary. All the Jade's infighting and drama and clickishness led to something really ugly. All of that could have been avoided if they just put on their get along shirt. I don't think even a really big shirt could fix all their drama. But maybe if they were more willing to lie down and take it things take it things would have been better. No way. Think about Raya. She didn't want to do anything. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, it, Homestuck did end like a couple years ago, so a lot of the uh, fandom has died down. It was definitely a wild time when it was like at its biggest, and I want to say that was probably 2013 to 2014, so... Are those Mickey D's fries? Yeah? S yeah wait, for the- fr oh, okay. I don't know, I've been eating so many of the ch cheeseburgers lately, and then I got a quarter pounder for the first time in forever, like, literally years, and I kind of prefer the quarter pounders, they're just so much- they're a little bit more expensive, but yes, these are Mickey D fries. These aren't too bad for cold. I think they were fried better. <clears throat> she didn't want to do anything and almost got to sent to clown town because of her infect inaction. I guess that's true. Maybe there's no good way to solve their problems at all. Even if they talk it out, it still won't make them like each other, no matter how much they insist they are friends. Yeah, it's kind of a bad situation all around. Too bad they're all stuck together in a cave tending to her life, giving off a positive matriarch. Otherwise, I'd suggest they leave and make new friends. Oh? You mean someone in a nasty relationship should get out of that relationship? Eh, <laughs> what are you looking at me like that? Like, if one of your best friends is going behind your back and being mean to you? Those two lights look like they're being... Those lights look like they're being holding two swords. You know, that's fair. <laughs> Especially with the angle of this. You should maybe make a new friend? I yeah? Come on, Zephros. You can do it. Connect some dots. Joey, I think I knew if I had a best friend who did bad things behind my back. Or called me derogatory names all the time. Or knew every single detail about my life so they could blackmail me. Or forced me to do weird rituals that hurt me. Oh. Oh, Zephros. All right, where are we at? Oh, the Blue Bloods. So this must be the Blue Blood car, huh? Yeah, there are only Ceruleans in here, so the Indigos must have their own train car. This is already uh, a lot fancier than the other cars we've been in. Let's just be careful. Blues can be more dangerous than you might think. We've gotten this far, right? Let's just keep moving forward. All right. Uh-oh. Edward. Oh no. <laughs> Let's get to the control room. Okay. 
Oh, she's gonna... Okay, no, she doesn't want to talk to us. That's cool, that's cool. Can I go up? No. Oh. Okay. In theory, I should talk to people, but... Oh, no. I hate the indigos. They're so weird. Can I? Oh, God. Hey, where do you low bloods think you're going? Oh, I, um, trespassing upon blue blood. Oh, wait, which one is? Uh, tres uh, which one? Okay, it's him. Trespassing upon blue blood territory is offense enough. You seek the audience of a of the revered high blood cast. <laughs> you guys are in trouble. You think you can simply walk into a clown car? Um, yes. Actually, I kind of know one of the trolls up there, and he invited me to come up, so his name is Marvis. Maybe you've heard of him? He's kind of a big deal. Oh, well, in that case. Ha! <laughs> You, an associate of one of the high bloods on this train? I've seen all the clowns aboard. Any one of them could rip your puny body. Limb from limb. <laughs> God, I hate that. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, they wouldn't because I'm cool and a friend of the clowns. It's a simple matter to make an oral assertion of association, but there is no way for us to verify such a claim. Reference one. <laughs> God. Hmm, that's true, Gallic. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't go up there. <laughs> How can I prove to you that I got invited to go up to the next car then? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, before I move on, each each troll has a uh, typing quirk or speaking quirk. I don't know. Um, if you notice, like, Nikki has these, like, little ellipsis things. I'm guessing his whole thing is the footnotes. She, I don't know what hers is. Zephro speaks with, like, he uses the horns as, like, one of his decoration things. Um... It's, uh, I just want to know where the footnote is, actually. Is that Equius up there? No. Maybe? I... <laughs> well, as I am sure you know, the Purple Blood cast is the absolute peak of artistic and cultural sophistication of our culture. The apex of our creative and intellectual potential. Footmark. Footnote. Yeah, uh, it's an it's a thing for all trolls. The kids also in the original sh comics do kind of have writing quirks, but it's more like they just type in a certain color that they like, and then uh, some of them use full caps or not full caps. They uh, cap full grammar and punctuation, and others are just like Larry Case. <laughs> Perhaps if you can prove to us that you are a troll of sufficiently cultured stock, then it may indeed have been impossible for such a refined class of... Zephyrus uses emoticons? Yeah. He uses a lot of emoticons, um, especially to describe... Well, I mean, to show all of his emotion. <laughs> he uses emoticons correctly? What? <laughs> That it may indeed have been possible for such a refined class of being to have graced you with the gift of their respect. Oh yeah! Great idea, Gallic! <laughs> okay then, what do we have to do? Uh, we can put it like a talent show! Amnesia, please. Nothing so simplistic and remedial as that. Think of it more like a stringent admissions process. If you can present to us a portfolio of sufficiently developed and artistically valuable work, we will accept that you might be worthy to stand before the high bloods. Oh boy. Okay, great. Right, where do we start? Let's start with evaluating your refinement in the most intellectually sophisticated of the arts. Literature. Footnote. Present to me your most polished work, an essay, a poem, a story, a treatise of some sorts. I will be the judge of whether or not you had the intellectual metal to pass muster. Um, okay. Be back in uh, a jiffy. 
I eagerly await your submission. So, um, what do we do? Zephros, do you know how to, uh, right? Uh, not really. Demic did all that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's fair. Maybe we'd better go back and see if anyone else in the chain could help us out. Alright, it doesn't seem like there's any way around it. Uh, I probably should have checked over there. Oh well. It also makes it easier to read the comic because it was originally done in like text chats or something? Fair enough. Uh, oh gosh, this place is- oh. I saw this in the trailer. Let's just, uh... Oh, how rare two tiny little ovlets scuttling into my web. How absolutely delightful. You may call me Aridata. Um, I'm Zephyrus. I'm Joey. How lovely. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need a soda? No, imbecile. I mean, no, thank you. Your eyes, they shimmer as lustrous as the sky. With that, I could pick them like ripe fruits. Uh, Zephyros, is she... I just... I think you have a better sense of who is making fun of us and who is serious. And who is just kind of a maniac? How can you draw any conclusions from insufficient data? Perhaps we should get to know each other better. Would you two care to join me in my room? It's so very noisy out here. I'd like to uh, out here in the main cabin. Well, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, uh, I guess we could come in and hang out for a little bit. <laughs> yes, after you. I already know what's gonna happen. We got harvested, maybe. I don't know. Well, looks like your blood color is too low. <laughs> All right. I'm not going in there? Okay. Well, let's go see. You look like a writer. Are you a writer? I'm assuming you're a writer. Hi! You need something? N no, we didn't mean to bother you. Well, just... Hey, bro, it totally chill. What? Uh... No, oh, oh, sorry. That fi fake fire is kind of hypnotic. It... Not fake. What? It's on a TV, isn't it? Still not fake. Just made out of pixels instead of oxygen and packed carbon. Virtual reality does not equal fake. It's just virtual. I'm Malik. Oh, I'm Joey. You're a mutant. What? Oh no, she's... Hit show, I'm down with mutants. Very anti-establishment. Out of love. Are you trying to pull her into your have hacktivist garbage? She's way out of your league. Anyway, that's uh, that what we got down here. Oh, okay. His quirk is equal sign is. Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> oh boy. Communal soda machines and fake fires. I thought you just said the fire wasn't fake. Right, isn't fake. Just hollow. A lukewarm reflection. That is how it's always been on Alternia. But that is going to change. Catch you later. Um, bye? Alright, Elward. Let's talk. Well, damn, look who it is. Hey. <laughs> so, what are you two rebels doing up here? You know you're supposed to be at the back of the train. Oh, we know. We're just trying to get up to the control room so we can redirect the train onto the express route to Critias Party. Nothing big. Oh, word. Well, welcome to the high-class car. 
Check out all the high quality shit we got going on. I think the vending machine might even work. Good to know. So hey, looks like you actually got on board. How'd you swing that? Oh, we took our tickets from some people on the platform. They gave them to us. By slightly underhanded means. <laughs> I knew you were tougher than you looked, girl. I mean, you do look like a pushover. No offense. But you got it, I'm pretty sure. Got it? Got what? Tell you later. Okay. Can we talk to her? Okay, Remily. Hello there, lowbuds. Hi. You sound a little down, darling. You doing alright? Huh? Oh, yeah, we're fine. That last car was just pretty intense. You were tangling with the teal bloods. <laughs> no wonder. But rest easy as ceruleans and we're laid back. Everybody here is already always ready to strike a deal. I don't care about what your blood color is as long as you got the cash. Uh, cash? For what? Hmm. I won't perform any of my services without something in exchange. Services? What in the world are you talking about? Do you seriously not know who I am? Wow. <laughs> Let me fill you in. I'm a very important artiste and writer. Ramel Namek, I'm a big deal online. I have some respect. I won't work for free. Um, oh, wow, okay. They. Let's get to the, let's get to the control. Well, I... I need to get some writings. Uh, that's totally fair for. Um, I remember. I don't remember his name. All right. Uh, that was okay. We'll skip past all this because I am not gonna go and get catfished again. Uh, no thanks. You know what, that's really nice of you to offer, but, uh, we need to keep going. Uh, yeah, thanks anyway. Alright, can I use this? Okay. Alright, let's see if we can go up and find, uh, some writing or something to trade with. Nope, definitely nope, okay. Hmm. This is even more baffling to you. <laughs> um. So, uh, fun little thing. There's a character in the original comic called Equius, and, um, he was obsessed with strength and horses. You can get porn on the internet. Okay, cool. Oh well, there's so much going on here. You honestly can't tell if it's muscular theater or porn. I hate this. <laughs> can I just talk to him? Okay. Back so soon. Um, yeah, what is it that you want exactly? To be true, if you cannot sort that out of your own concern, of what constitutes a piece of intellectually and artistically valuable literature, I find it highly unlikely that you'll be able to create one. So questions such as that are not working in the favor of my estimation of your intellectual chops, so to speak. Any thought that was painting was- Oh yeah! I guess it's not him, it's actually her. So... It still fits, like... <laughs> I mean, I guess. Okay, great. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Hey, do you have time to help us out? Uh, I really don't think I'm supposed to be helping. Gaelic will get really grumpy about it. Sorry, I'm rooting for you, though. Oh, she's cute. So, uh, would you happen to know anything about literature? Literature? You think that I would concern myself with something as as books? Sister, the only stories I'm concerned with are the ones I paint with the blood of my enemies. Yeah! Oh god. 
Hello, Undyne. Welcome back. Alright, cool, thanks. See ya. Uh, flarp manual. Shockingly, there's nothing in here that's of any help. I thought I had a book, but can I just can I just give this to him? I present you this we found. I see. What do you think? Forgive me for feeling obliged to depart as so far from civility as to criticize adult observations regarding yeah. <laughs> regarding persons of limited intellectual striking balls and each other with sticks. However, it is my painful duty to point out that the spectacle of congenital defectives muffled and oh my god and padding running all okay, Cancri, chill the fuck out. I'll leave that up for a minute. I'm not reading all that. Oh, God. <sighs> Where was I? Okay. Including the descriptions thereof by an author with an effective vocabulary of 90 words is far from edifying to the person of delicate feeling. Even a literary genius would have trouble with this material. The actual author, who falls short of genius to much the same degree as passing gas in the bathtub, falls short of the creation of the universe ex nihilo, nix ex nihilo, has produced a disorderly botch that must repel even the least discerning reader. To be a bit more specific, the organization is muddled, the intent clouded, the pacing stagnant, the descriptions maladroit, the philosophy cretinous, and the overall effect revolting to anyone with balanced mind. And then we must pass to its defects. Are you saying it's not artistic or valuable? It's certainly valuable as a cultural artifact defining the extreme end of a continuum encompassing works of genius at the one end and mounds of noise and one another. As to artistic, it might, and I think it should, be used down the ages as an example of what to avoid at all costs in literary production. I don't think he likes it. I was so sure about that one. Will you give us another chance? Well, I suppose it's the spirit of education to allow some leeway. Yes, all right, you can try again. I hated all that. Oh, okay, wait, can I... Can I go back to previous cars? Let's see. Um... Can, wait, can I talk to him again and ask? Come on. Talk. Hey, you're back. Yeah. I should have known this was going to be as weird and mund mundanely frustrating as the last three cars. The people upstairs won't let us up until pass until we pass some cultural test that I'm pretty sure they just made up on. It's on the elevator. Uh, I believe that's the Empress. I can't remember what her name is, but sh they're, uh, she, she's a quote-unquote fuchsia blood, the highest blood color, and there exists only one at a time, I believe. They usually end up culling all the other fuchsia bloods because they're, um, the fuchsia bloods also exist for like centuries, if not millennia. They're the longest living ones too. So also, so it starts with the low bloods being like maybe a year or two, I think I, I, I haven't mentioned this before, but as you get higher up in the bloods, um, they live for a much longer in line time. I need to actually look at what her name is. <clears throat> that is classic indigo. The guy up there with glasses wants us to bring him some cultured literature. Do you have anything like that lying around? Yeah, I can find something. Really? That was way easier than I thought it would be. For sure. I'll find you something. Super rare. It'll blow that blowhard's mind. Just one thing first. Oh, yeah, I figured there'd be one. Or two. Or five. A bunch of my devices died hours ago. If you can find a way to charge them, I'll find you something radical. What do you say? Sure. This seems like the path of least resistance. Rad, let me know when you get it done. Hey, um, we could use some help. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Joey, what do you need? 
This is totally dumb, but the blue bloods upstairs want us to bring them a piece of literature to prove our cultural merits. Like a book. Yeah, or any hard-hitting piece of writing. Wow, that is stupid. I know, right? I gotta tell you, I don't got any literacy, uh, liter anything literary on me at the moment. Sorry. Um. Hey, I am sorry to bother you, but is oh Critia, that's her name. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just remembered what her name is. The um, Empress is named Critia. And that's the fuchsia blood that's in the elevator. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. What's the item they have in the top left? That looks like a bug-shaped charging. Um, I believe that's the guy's uh, stuff that he needs to charge. He, I have to find a place to charge it. And then I'll get some literacy, which honestly f will probably be easier than getting something from her. Probably, just knowing how this game goes. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you, but is there any chance you know where we can find a literary text on this train? We are trying to impress some indigo bloods. I can't help you with that, so though I am a very prolific writer, I doubt a fancy luad will find any of my texts literary. Why not? Transformative works are spat upon by the blue bloods elites. You'll have to look elsewhere to find your respectable literature. Uh, kind of, these are actually, these here are just items that I'm holding. Um, so, wait, on the top, wait, the uh, top left, yeah. These are all items that I'm holding. It's some kind of, uh, electronic thing. I got some soda and then two other books. So I can try to combine it with various things throughout the game. I used to have a bird. I think, and then also some pogs. I have not seen them in a while, though. Um, let's see here. I see you're back for more. Uh, yeah, so funny story. You require a piece of literature to play the Indigo Blood silly little game. Yeah, how did you know? I heard it all. My senses are quite preternatural. <laughs> Do you have anything like that? Sure, yes. In my room. I have shelves and shelves of books. Join me. Uh, no thanks. No, we're okay. We'll ask someone else. No, oh, the door closed. Interesting. Um... Do, 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 Okay. Can I charge here? Oh no. Hold on. Uh, no, no. Enter? Nope, definitely nope. Look. You wonder exactly what's inside these rooms that makes them different from the ones downstairs. You know, you'll be able to tell the difference between Cerulean and Indigo lifestyles. They both feel beyond you. Okay. Uh, look, look, all right, um, what should I do? Come on, there we go. Can I go back? Jesus, you guys got close. <laughs> hmm. Do, 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 do. Uh, will this work? Okay. Hmm. That's a grub thing. <laughs> I 
Well, thanks for swinging by. Swinging by. <laughs> I can talk. Um, have a good night or evening or day or whatever time it is for you. Um, literature? Mm, no, everything I got here I absolutely need for my exam. All right, Branya. What, you need literature? No, the only book I have on the train was the one that made me lose 20 sleeps of my life. Oh, it's you guys, what's up? I know the last thing you probably want to do right now is think about books, but what? No way, I told you I love books. You think one silly little trial would change that? I, I will, I have some liquids around me. Got one here. I made sure to grab some while I was at Mickey D's too, so. That's good. Yeah, seriously. Are you here to talk books? Sort of? We're trying to prove that we're cultured. Oh! What kind of culture are you looking for? Probably... literature? Wow, that sounds boring as heck. Honestly, with this guy, I think the more boring the better. Hmm... Well, I have books of course, but probably not anything I'd want to give away. That's alright. Thanks anyway. Literature? You're joking, right? Shit hasn't been... Shit. Hasn't there been enough book drama late already? Wait, oh, I think I could go back to the mustard blood car? That might work. Do 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 They might actually have my best bet. Um let's talk to you guys. Maybe? There we go. You want literature? Oh yeah, for sure. We'll hook you up. Oh <laughs> check out the shit. Out. Oh, um Joey, don't look at anything they show you. I was actually gonna ask if you guys can charge this. Hey, remember me? No, the void rots my brain, same as my body. Really? No, idiot. Of course I remember. Neediest rusty couple on the train. We can't really argue with that. Why are you here again? I'm needy, remember? I need something. Can you charge these devices? Show me. This isn't rusty tech. You stole this. No, I didn't. Thrashing mercenaries, soliciting high bloods, now theft. I'm impressed. Full yolk, get the fuck off for a second. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> Just fucking jump on his eyes. It's fine. Yeah. Are you okay? I think so. What did you feel like? Ugh, food poisoning. And you feel like siphoning off a block of wood. Are you sure you're even alive? Yeah, I've had better days. Oh, sweet. All right, that worked a lot better. <laughs> that worked a lot better than I thought it would. I'm thinking with portals. Oh, 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 I clicked out. There we go. I'm way too close to the camera. Whoops. <laughs> Exit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it looked like the children were <laughs> there. Oh my god. There we go. And bloop. Any luck? I already got a PDF ready to go. This shit is super exclusive. It wasn't easy to find. Yeah, here you go. Sweet. Check your tablet. Already sent. Oh! Thank you. Wow, this is long. Favor for a favor. Dang, you were like the nicest, I swear. I'm gonna regret saying that he's the nicest. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Alright. Uh, let's talk 
Do them. There you go. What? What is this? Intellectually and artistically valuable literature. <sighs> Let me take a look. Hmm. Interesting. More than interesting. Fascinating. I think he's getting it. Yeah. And where, my ask, did you two rather exquisite individuals get the somewhat sophisticated work of political literature? We got it from... We can't tell him. It has all that stuff in it about overthrowing and rebelling and stuff. Oh, right. Um, sorry, we can't disclose that. That's a pity. I'd love to get a hold of whoever wrote this. Ooh, um, why? To congratulate them, of course, to see what I could do to support their literary career. Bring them to the attention of editors and critics, feet them, and shower them with honors. This is truly intellectually and artistically a valuable piece of literature, subverting all our preconceptions. It plays with a form to call into question our deepest perceptions and ideas in constructing narrative conventions to strike at the very heart of shared con canonical shibboleths. In order to capsize our customs and habits of thought and our jaded practice of culture. Oh, yes, exactly. The profundity of vision, the penetration of analysis on every page in this magisterial work contributes more to the understanding of our own small place in the universe than whole libraries of conventional scholarship opening up new visas of dis dialectical plausibility issuing the tired usages of the ivory tower, but circumventing at the same time the dreariness of iconoclasm for its own sake, its uplifting and at the same time incendiary critique of things as they are, comes as a breath of fresh air to the scholar who has labored long under the yoke of intellectual orthodoxy. Yeah, I agree. Oh god, I fuck. God, you were so long-winded! I am indebted to you, yes, even to you and Washington untutored as you are, but not as but does not wisdom often come out the mouths of babes and sucklings for providing me with this heady glimpse of the possibilities of philosophy outside the tired, cramped bounds of obsolete doctrine in the trodden paths that have worn intellectual ruts in the fabric of scholarship leading to the same doors to the same rooms with their their paltry intellectual fare. All, while all the time there has been a feast waiting for the hungry scholar just around the corner, I'm not sure I can ever pay you. Oh, well, you could. No, thanks. I can express the profound debt I feel to you too, small-minded and simple as you are. Does not intellectual modesty often point the way for having brought me this feast of reason and flow of the soul? Oh, well, actually. I am simply overwhelmed with the riches of the spirits you two unprecedented and stunted through your minds may be, but even a humble vessel can hold fine wine have given me. I can barely... Well, you could let us go. What? Remember he said that if we brought you some intellectual and artistically valuable literature, you'd let us go to the next car? Oh yes, yes I do remember. Inconsequential figures such as yourselves often don't imprint themselves deeply on my memory, but you do. You've done me a great service, and through me, humanity, of course, be my guest. Proceed on your way with all speed and benediction. Yay. Just a sec. Uh, good job with that literature. Gala can be so picky. Lovitz usually have terrible tastes, but you guys really have some culture in your veins. Well, thanks. I bet you're an amazing artist. I would love to see your stuff someday. Actually, no day like today. Oh boy. That looked really fun, so I think I want to play too. Bring me one piece of art if you want to pass. Wait, again? We already proved we know culture and stuff. Yeah, you played with Gallic, but I don't care about books. I want to see art. Ah, this is so... Gallic, can you please tell her we already passed your test? Hmm? Oh, this is... This has absolutely nothing to do with me. Joey, we should just do what she wants. You're never going to argue with the blue blood down. Ugh, fine. One piece of art, coming up. Alright. I know one artist. Oh, God. Come on. Go in the elevator. Home. 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 God, I just... I probably should grab some water, but it's fine. Alright. Hey, 
Hey, you're an artist, right? Yes, I am an artiste. Great. Do you think you could, like, do, like, a painting or some kind of art for us? We have to prove that we can recognize true art to those guys upstairs, and since you're such a good artiste, maybe you could help us? Are you asking me to work for exposure? Joey. 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 Don't ever ask an artist to work for exposure. Their work, no matter what, is something of value. It takes time and you should pay for it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but the exposure is just is those guys upstairs who um look down on the real art of the people. Hmm, compelling. I would love to wear my work in their face of the elite. I'll do it, but I will need raw materials and a reference piece. My specialty is artistic mimicry, like a uh, forgery. Original works is overrated. Sure. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm probably stupid for not knowing this, but uh, what are raw materials exactly? Anything distinguished, really. True art is ugly and sopping with the sweat and tears of the creators. Gross. Where are we supposed to find something like that? You might want to go where the people are raw and real and gross. I'm sure you know what kind of people I mean. Seeing as you're one of them. <laughs> hey, that was rude. <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah, I know exactly where I'm going to go. Do, 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 do. Not fond of fetch quests that make you go all the way back, but you know, it's fine. It's not fine. Do You. We're looking for materials to make art like raw materials. What the heck does that mean? We're not exactly sure. Just some materials for making art the way the artist does. Well, this garbage is pretty raw. I was about to throw it off the side of the train. But you can have it. Oh, that's sure an idea, I guess. I'll take it. I guess it couldn't hurt to try. Joey, I think it's safe to assume at this point that anything can hurt. Yeah, I guess even that ticket machine stabbed me. Fascinating. Do you want this garbage or not? Yeah, thanks. Wow, this smells terrible. It's garbage. What do you want from me? <laughs> Honestly? The low floods? You know... I've just kind of learned to accept everything that's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that they're... Uh, flushed? I guess? It's kind of nice to actually remember a lot of these things. Me! Oh my god! Yo. Yo. I didn't know I was in a game. I'm sorry I'm like this. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I got their, um, the shirts when they were on sale. Um, I was pretty stoked. I really like this one. It's cool because it's got, like, the back and everything. Um, I am big fond of the style of cloak. It's just so expensive that I cannot afford to get more than... Um, oh, thanks, Michael. <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, no, come back. Oh, wait. Um, she wants to do mimicry, right? I know the exact piece that I want her to mimic. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna hate this. No, I don't... 
I'm trying to get I'm trying to get the horses. They she would freaking love that. Oh, you got the stealth one? I'm waiting for another drop because I do want to get another sweatshirt. Um, the one that I have is great. It's just slightly too big because they only had the mediums left. Um, I just, I really like the sweatshirts. Hello, Bloods. I can't help but think that you are follow you have followed my your my instructions and returned with something raw. It doesn't get any rawer than this, and if it does, we really don't want to know about it. Thanks. Can you work with us? I know it's really smelly. <laughs> Are you kidding? You think I'm some sort of amateur? I have... Oh my god. His soft boy merch is so good. I might actually... Hmm. That is also... No, he... Those are the ones that are out. I know he came out with a new line of stuff and it's the color things and I'm so... I'm weak for that kind of stuff. This is nothing compared to the suffrage I've endured for my career. Let's make some fucking art. I... I hate and love it. <laughs> Here you go. Check this out. Wow. This is actually pretty cool. Did you really use that garbage to make this? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what he's ha got. Ow! Fudge. I'd have to look at him. <laughs> I remember looking at them in passing and then haven't really opened it up again because I was like, not. Uh, money was not tight. I was just like, I have spent too much money getting other stuff lately. So, eh, maybe after streaming, I might dream myself. It's spring break for me, so. Oh. Not for me, more for the kids, but I have a week off. <laughs> I told you I was good. Yeah, you're not getting paid for this. I really think you should probably, like, get paid for it. I don't know. Oh, these fries are steadily getting colder and colder. As fries are wont to do. Do 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 Let's oh god no that's not what I wanted to do. Wow, what is that? Our art. Pretty cool, right? So deep rising That's a that's a pretty strong argument, not gonna lie. The colors are incredible. It's so yeah. Exactly! It smells terrible and I want you to take it away from me as soon as possible. But good job. Test cleared. I know you guys had it, didn't you? Alright. Both tests passed. Now we can... Not so fast, sister! <sighs> oh boy. You may have impressed these two pipsqueaks, but do you really think... You could possibly stand up to the might of me, Nikki Moolah? <laughs> I just imagine going down the street and being like, Nikki Moolah. <laughs> I hate the names in this goddamn game. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I wanted Mountain Dew. I wanted something caffeinated, and I didn't want something as strong as Red Bull, because I still want to sleep tonight. But, yes. Infinite time champion of alternative muscular theater. <laughs> Don't make me fucking laugh! <laughs> Machia is laughing. <laughs> I just like the- I, I hate the name, but I also kind of love it. Nikki Moolah. <laughs> Sister! These games of these two lowly marks of Sensuon are nothing compared to the test of metal and might you will have to pass to prove yourself to me, Grand Champion, Nikki Moolah. <laughs> it's 
time for you to show me your strength in the only arena that really matters. Muscular theater! Okay. Come on. <laughs> me and Gallic both got to play our games. It's only fair that Nikki gets her turn too. Indeed, muscular theater is one of the most refined arts, so it would be remiss to allow you to pass without verifying that you properly appreciate the value. <laughs> It's Nikki Mula. I hate, I hate everything. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, so what do we have to do? You may pass if, and only if, you can best me in a test of muscular prowess. At first I thought she was kind of scary, but the longer this goes on, the more ridiculous it gets. Uh, no comments. What are you maggots whispering about? Oh, nothing. So I take it I've got to, like, wrestle you? That's an excessively erudite way of erud erudite way of putting it, but yes! There is no such thing as an excessively erudite. Nikki, shut the fuck up. <laughs> now, sister, be gone. I must commence my training for our tremendous clash. All right, then. Okay, so you see the thing about muscular theater is, well, it's less about the muscle thing. It's less about the muscle than the theater, so... <sighs> I know wrestling is fake, Zephyros. We, um, we don't use that word, Joey. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is, it's not actually going to be a matter of her be of beating her in a test of strength. She's just saying that as part of the performance. I think it's pretty safe to say that's not going to be possible anyway. Yeah. We just have to put on a good enough show. If we can do that, even if we lose, we win. Whatever happens, it just has to be good story. I know a thing or two about a performing. One of the most important things you've got to think about in any recital is the wardrobe, right? Yeah. Do you have anything that you could spruce up my outfit with a little? Um, muscular theater has a little bit of a higher standard for costume than a little sprucing. We need to have, like, concepts. Oof. Well, I guess we better go see if someone can help us out, huh? Alright, Elward. You got style. You got grace. Please punch me in the face. What? Alright, Elward. Hi, Anne. You really can't get enough, can you? Running back and forth, fetch quest, fetch quest. You two are so busy. You're not doing it because we want to. The blue ones still won't let us through. You seriously haven't tried to just blow past them yet? You think we could try that? Joey, no. Might be interesting. Joey, please. Chill, kid. I'm joking. What do you guys need? We're supposed to wrestle one of them, and we need a costume. Damn, which one of you? Me, I guess? Zephyros is probably better at sports, but he's injured. So, can you help us? Hmm. Yeah, I might have something for you. Gotta make another deal, Unforch. I can't have people going around thinking I give out shit for free. Even to key Lolods. What do you want? What do you got? Um, want some more of my stuff? Here, I've got... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not doing any shady deals. I thought you were all about shady deals. Yeah, on my terms, but I've been burned before, okay? I don't even know what any of that shit is. It's the only stuff I have, though. I don't have any money. What is it? Um... I believe he got injured, I want to say back in the yellow, in the mustard blood car. I know he got injured fairly, wait, no, it might have been in the first game, actually, um, when he was trying to flee with Joey, which I probably should play at some point, just so, like, there's some context. <laughs> I do remember him being injured, I just don't remember how severely. And I'm pretty sure it- No! Oh, okay, okay. It was when we met 
Zephros originally, he was crushed under some things. We had to help him get out of wherever he was. And I mean, he's a little bit, he's pretty sturdy, but he did get hurt in all that. Do we have any money? Nope. Well then, guess you'll have to come up with something better. How about a, how about a, Joey, she likes you. Yeah, she likes being a jerk to me. No, I mean, she's into you. Maybe you should ask her out. What? Blue bloods get really territorial about trolls in their quadrants. So if she feels protected of you, she'll help us. But, but, she's a girl? So? And I'm also a girl? <laughs> Zephyr, same. Is it a problem for you that she's a girl? I, I don't get it. I, I don't, I, um, okay, well, obviously you don't get really, you don't really have to go out with her, just make her think you want to. Is, is this really a good idea to lie to a high blood? Well, the Cerulean isn't a high blood, but, and how do we even know that she's really, you know, like that? What, what do you mean? <laughs> God, Joey, <laughs> you were literally a child. I know that, okay, so... The time period that this is possibly taking place is probably in the early 90s, and while, like, gay people have existed for, like, centuries, millennia even, um, I'm guessing she hasn't had that awakening yet, because, like, uh, this is taking place where Roxy still exists and Jake is still alive, and with the game originally, Jake was Jade's grandpa, and these are all characters you guys- you- you wouldn't know, if you haven't read the comics, which is totally fine, but they're the original characters in the comic. The comic was taking place, like, at the same time, I think it's 2009 or whatever, and, um, a lot of that stuff was- it existed, but, you know, it was, uh, kids didn't know this well, I guess. I don't know. I went to chartered school, so, admittedly, I didn't have any experience in queer culture until I was in college, and that's a whole other thing. Why am I speaking in my Zephyrus voice? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, Joey, honey. Huh? You've literally met a bunch of people. Uh, I just don't think I can do this. Uh, sorry. Okay. Hey, what are you weirdos whispering out over? About over there? It's creeping me out. Nothing. Pay you back later. How about an IOU? Oh, what now? You know, an IOU. I owe you when... I know what it is. I'm just wondering what made you take me for some kind of chump. I'm running a business here. I can afford to make bad invest- I can't afford to make bad investment decisions. I'll get back to you. Um, I'll get back to you. Don't wait too long. This offer won't last. Um, soda. Book. That's for kids. Alright. Everything has been pre- Oh! There's all the stuff! Um... Bird. Um... Pogs? Hmm. Those are interesting. Yummy bits. Can I give her this? Wild. All right, um, oh, I've never seen half this garbage. I wonder if there's anything I could use, uh, okay. I was wondering where all my other crap went. I knew she had a bunch of crap. Okay, that explains a lot. Reason though. You aren't much feeling no reason. Okay, let's see. Uh, hey, Malik, what's up? I'm just wondering if you know anything about, uh, persuasion? Persuasion? Yes, like, you know, getting someone to do something for you. Are you hitting on me? Huh? <laughs> Cause I'm just saying. I'm trying to keep a quadrant open for some, someone specific. You know what I'm saying. No, that's, I'm just trying to figure out how to get Elward to lend me something. That's all. 
Nothing weird. Oh, gotcha. My bad. Hmm. Maybe violence or trickery? Those are your ideas. Yeah. Honestly? I like how he's straight to the point. Hey, you're friends with Elward, right? Who? Uh, Elward, the girl right there? Why would I know her? Well, you're sitting with her. Ugh, it was either her, that smelly hacktivist, who has never heard of an ablution trap. Elward hates being bored. Huh? Bore her, and you got no chance, little lowbloods. I'm surprised she even talked to you in the first place. She isn't even interested in boys or squares. Hey! I'm kidding about the offer not lasting. I don't have shit to do. Okay. Can I talk to her? <laughs> Hello, little bloods. Your courage does you credit. Yep, we got that extra credit. Would you happen to know of anything that Elward might like? Oh, certainly. Just come along with me into my room. I have so many things she would like. No, thanks. Uh, no. Hmm. Suit yourself. Uh, I have an idea. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Do beer beer beer. Sizius, I'm not that great with girls. Stells and I were kind of an accident. Okay, Stells, no, no. Stells, uh, no. Oh my god. Trying to navigate and talk to people is a pain. Oh, I wouldn't even know where to begin buying gifts. So difficult, isn't it? Uh, you might know? If there's a girl you like, you could bring her a gift. In Soldier Purvey's book, too. Okay. Branya, would you know? I, as an upstanding rule abiding cloistered jade, have absolutely nothing to say on the matter of romance and seduction. Alright, Dariah? Help me out here, girlie. I helped you. Huh? Oh, a girl? Okay. Use your Lovud Wilds or whatever the fuck. Dariah? Blank? You want to charm a cerulean? I don't know. Bend over. I mean, like... I... Me, personally, would have been like, yeah, hell yeah, but... All I got is memes for you guys. You wouldn't know anything. What time does someone like me have for quadrants? Um... Tagora? Well, well, well. Romancing blue bloods, are we? I may have some insider knowledge, but it will cost you. Pogs. Any other oddities you'd care to part with? Hmm, what do you think of these? Wait, are those discs you're handling so carefully? These? They're just pogs. The creatures portrayed Heron are called pogs. No, they're people. Human beings. This one is particularly comely. If their horns had grown out naturally and their skin be in a healthy color, it would have given me a bona fide animus... I don't want to know what that means. Um, okay, that's Gillian Anderson. Well, I think I may be willing to part with some information to obtain this portrayal of this poor, crippled, but admittedly attractive entity. You'll tell us the name of the thief? Alas, not even the image of the peerless oh, kinsman such price. However, in the possession of a hot tip, I can pass on. Sure. So, what's the hot tip? Okay, come closer. I'm going to whisper this. One of the Jasons very train is planning on leaving the cloister and said scheme of all... S oh. Uh, I gave up my pogs for this. <laughs> this isn't what I was looking for! Adrena go gyog van just servitude and follow the innocent dictates of their hearts. Why must they stay in the relative of 
Der Künstler sucht im Müllerfutter. Ah, uh, that's how the would say it. And those are all good points. But I don't think it would be a good idea to be heard talking about him here. Do you think this has actually anything to do with who stole the book? Yeah, I doubt it. Darn. Well, I guess I lost the pogs. <laughs> Whoops. Can I... Okay, let's open this. See if we got anything. Rummage. Okay. Nope. I figured because, like, I've, uh, let's talk to these two. Uh, are you okay? No, I'm thinking. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Boldir. Psst, do I know you? I was informed there would be an asset on this train. Me? Oh, of course. The burgundy figurehead. Call me Baldir. I have plenty of intelligence on you. I think you might have me confused with uh, literally anyone else since I'm not important. Anyone can be important. It isn't up to us. But I've already said too much. Psst. They definitely got this train bugged. Who? The man. Oh. Right. Definitely. The man. He's everywhere. Psst. The man is a figurative expression that doesn't refer to a single individual, but instead a broad concept of oppressive influences. Um, okay. Psst. I'm glad we've had the con managed to connect here. The universal conver convergence is beginning. What in the world? The implications of this reversal are far-reaching and unforeseeable. The wind is shifting and the fate of the gods and mortals are no longer joined. The void resounds. The paths intertwine. And those who are extremely loud. Zephyrus, do you have any idea what she's talking about? Uh, nope. Wink. That was, uh... Would you know anything? Pulpia? Is it a pitch or flushed? I need some sort of details if I'm going to help out at all. Alright. Sarava, Dude, I only have one bit of advice for you when it comes to blue bloods. Do not interact. Oh, no. Ah, I clicked out. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Uh, do you guys know anything? A girl? Lol. <laughs> Tell her she sucks. Girls love it when you nag them. I hate... Oh. Okay. Like, for real, I would just be like, yeah, let's just go on a daze. Cool. But, nope. <laughs> this game has to be difficult. You want to impress a girl? Maybe you have to clean something? I have no idea. I'm kind of a one-trick miniature. That's actually kind of cute. He's at least endearing. Wait, uh... Vicari? Greetings, my pale and haggard friend. Join me, won't you? Join you in what? Sitting? There isn't any room. Join me in the fantastical pursuits of the inner eye. The misty domain of dreams. The unadorned sparkle of the limitless psyche. You're just talking about thinking, right? Oh, I do like to imagine stuff sometimes. Sometimes I imagine I don't live in a merciful, merciless, <laughs> I don't live in a merciful, merciless hellscape where I'm never sure when or, when or how I'll be gruesomely murdered. The noggin, the noodle, the inexhaustible noise box between the ears. Thoughts are free, my sweaty and slightly odious friend. What are you thinking about so hard? Why, the skies, of course. What else is there worth truding the mind to? Don't you ever feel the call of the wild? The siren song of distant bluer skies? Don't you ever feel the need to just tog yourself to the braces and set out, tog yourself to the braces and set out on a grand adventure? No, I don't, actually. In fact, I think anyone who just drops everything to run off into the blue like that is the opposite of heroic. It's irresponsible. And now I'm shouting and everyone on the train is looking at me. Really? Uh, let's go, Zephros. Hey, you've been thinking a lot. I don't want his advice. You really don't like him, do you? That's fair. 
Wait, him, of course? Uh, I guess she does have some traumas. Skyla, you want to impress a Silverian? Uh, I know y'all. After her home cooked meal? Maybe I should ask the Indigos? I've talked to everybody on the train. Ugh. Okay, what else is there? Hmm. I do like the aesthetic of a lot of the yellow bloods or the mustards. Right? It's like I already know. <laughs> I'm just trying to impress Elward. What do I need? What do I need to do? What do I need to give her? How can I get stretch, stretch, stretch? <laughs> how how can I get Joey to just do the thing. Because I think after this I only have one more car. Do, do. Let's trust. Let's ask the indigos. Maybe they'll know. Hi again. Hey, what's up? Sorry to keep coming up here to beg for advice, but what kind of stuff do you think a Cerulean blood would like? Joey's trying to press one. Oh, a Cerulean? There's just no telling with them. You'll probably have to do something absolutely crazy to get her to notice you. Crazy like what? Everything here is crazy. <laughs> You're cute, and I'm sure you'll come up with something with something. Low bloods are resourceful. I mean, they have to be. Do I have to ask him? Hey, sorry to bother you, but you appear to know a lot about stuff. Stuff? Explain exactly what you mean by stuff. Oh, I just... I'm trying to convince a Cerulean girl to do something for me, and I'm not really sure how to approach it. A Cerulean girl? Interesting. I assume this is Quadrant or Jason Quarry. I don't have particular experience with this particular subject. Perhaps not enough to offer much insight. Well, let's ask Nikki. Hi, er, Nikki, was it? What do you want? Don't you know it's bad luck to see your opponent before the match? Uh, never mind then. Alright. Oh god, what do I need? What do I need? Like, Joey, just ask her out. <laughs> Can I talk to somebody up here? Oh no. Oh, maybe her name's Triza? Oh wait, Critia is someone else. Okay. I know, I gotta do something crazy, but like what? I dan I wanna dance for her, but she doesn't want that. Let's talk to her again, maybe? Uh, can you offer... Touch. Uh, it's surreal looking as you're out. Sounds crazy. Right? How, I, I'm trying. Trying to ask her out. Oh. Okay. Let's see. We're going to save really quick. And I'm going to ask her again. My room is just full of things other ways. Sure, let's try it. Um, Joey, I don't know if... Shh. <laughs> hey, Joey. Oh, hey! Oh, shit! Yeah, okay, here we go. Hey, Joey, tough girl, baby. What the fuck are you doing? Well, since you can't help us, I'm just gonna go with someone who can. Uh, Joey? Ugh, I'm not gonna be responsible for this. <laughs> Never fear. I'll be the one to return her to you. Don't fret. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. But I prefer her with all her pieces attached. Girl, come see me. Okay. I'm actually surprised that worked. That is crazy. <laughs> Man, you really think anybody who dresses like that has your best intentions at heart? 
I do if my best intentions interests involve getting a costume. Shit, good grief. Come back here if it's if it's this or you turn yourself over to Spider Bitch, I'll just give you the costume. I'm not going to literally let you get yourself killed over a fucking pirate costume. Pirate costume. That's what I got, kids. Why do you just have a pirate's costume? Are you? Do I pay you to ask stupid questions? You don't pay me to do anything. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. We'll get it back to you as soon as we can. Don't bother. I got a bunch. You've got a bunch of pirate costumes on this train? Yeah. Why? Now I thought we'd established. I wasn't holding a press conference on the fucking pirate gear. Here, try this on. Okay. That was kind of cute. Yeah, looks great, babe. You're gonna tear it up in that muscle square. Great, thanks. Okay, so there's another character in uh, Homestuck called Friska Circuit. Big fond of her. Um, her whole thing was like a pirate thing. So I don't know if this is just like a bunch of references to be like, ooh, characters that you might know if you played, if you read the comics. Um, she was known for being like a her. Uh, her Lucis, which is like her guardian, was a spider. She was often called a spider bitch. Um, and then she, her ancestor, which is a whole other thing that I'll eventually get into about Homestuck, but her ancestor was a pirate captain. So it does actually make sense for Elward to have uh, the pirate costumes, specifically for the Cerulean Bloods. So that's... That's kind of a nice reference. Like I, I like that. That's a, that's a, that's, that's good. It's good. Oh, oh. These aren't bad for cold fries. Oh, I should have saved. Oops. <clears throat> Do you really think you're ready to face me? And the muscle square. Ready as I'll ever be. I'm just going to change into my ear battle raiments. My battle raiments. And then I'm gonna trounce you. <laughs> Bring it on, sister. Ahem. And where do you intend for this epic showdown to take place? A true warrior fights in the ring. Yes, yes, you're right. But we don't have a ring here, Mula. In absence of a ring, a true warrior makes do. Stand up and face me, sister. Just, just knock her straight out. Just, just knock her straight out. <laughs> I thought I would at least get a chance to do like a puzzle or something. Jewy, Jewy, wake up. Uh, what just? Oh, thank goodness you're awake. You're alive. Where... what happens? <laughs> Victorious again. Oh, I was wrestling and I lost? Ugh, does my head hurt? Eh, I guess we failed the test. I... Failed? <laughs> no, sister. That was tremendous! I... what? My body is surging with adrenaline. My muscles bursting. <laughs> I don't know. This is making me think of Mark Fire. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> when he starts bragging about himself. God dang it. This is stupid. <sighs> what a contest. What stirring theater. Why not? Huh. I didn't notice that. I think it's part of her costume, honestly. It matches your ear, uh, horns? <laughs> I, uh, entertained you enough to pass. My getting punched in the face and passing out immediately? <laughs> Simple girl. There can be no winner without a loser. The strong cannot rule without someone too weak to subjugate. Your piteous defeat has solidified my iron grasp on the belts. Uh, okay. Cool. You are a sister of culture, after all. Ooh, ha. Thanks. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> it seems then that you've passed all our tests, Lowblood. Yay, congrats! 
Uh, does that mean we get to pass into the next train now? Go ahead! Low bloods. <laughs> Honestly, right? Your fate now rests in the fate in the hands of the jesters. Sounds... sounds great. Oh my god. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought. It was only like an hour and a half. Oh. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I really hate- th oh god. I hate that. Alright. Oh wait. What are you thinking about? How do you know I was thinking? Well, aren't people always thinking? That's how brains work. Oh, right. Um, well, my thought wasn't very exciting. I think we've had enough excitement for one day, to be honest. Is Alternia always like this? Um, yes, unfortunately. Um, I'm planning on going at least until the end of this game. Depending on what time it is, I might also start streaming a new game called Dungeons and Lesbians. I got in an Ichio pack. Depends on how tired I am by the end of this and how much my voice hurts. <laughs> uh, Nikki is kind of difficult to do, so if I don't run into too many more characters like her. But this is fun. I um, Voice acting is a thing that I do just for fun. <laughs> and I've been wanting to kind of reread Homestuck, but also like do it in the voices. But that is so many voices. Um, Alright, let's see here. Mm, yes, unfortunately. But not usually all at once. You're definitely getting an expedited tour of all our planet's problems. <laughs> you might even call the experience an illustrative vertical slice of the hemospectrum's class tensions. The experience has definitely been... er... tense? That's exactly what I was thinking about! I've never been around blue bloods like that before. I mean, I see them in line at the nutritional requisition market sometimes, but I usually try not to get in their attention. <laughs> Now I'm not sure it matters if they pay attention to me or not. Heck yeah, man! I like I was able to. I haven't been able to swing by that much, but for the short amount of time I have, it's pretty good. You guys are. I can tell you guys are having fun with it at least. That being said, I'm gonna have to like meet you and lurk. Ooh, yikes! Yeah, go do some homework, man. It's all good. Thanks for swinging by. I mean, like, I will probably be online for a while. <laughs> they live in a completely different world than I do, don't they? Yeah, I got that impression too. Now, I'm wondering... Oh no, maybe I shouldn't say it. <laughs> Zephyr sits fine, I asked. Okay, well, damn it. Wait, Joey, I know you think it's ba he's bad, but Damik is a true revolutionary. He has a master plan to end the Ahemostrictum and free us Lovas from our metaphorical chains. Which he says are the only things we have to lose. What exactly is the master plan? Um, yeah, I actually have no idea. <laughs> Damik says I wouldn't be able to understand it even if he explained it. He's the theory guy. I'm supposed to focus on, um, Praxis. Praxis? But come to think of it, he doesn't let me do much of that either. What does he let you do? Um, <laughs> let's not get into that right now. But trust me, Joey, Derek is trying to protect me. He wants to protect me so much that it's what's inspired him to destroy the Hemospectrum. Uh-huh. And he says we can do it peacefully, too, that... If we can make common cause, if we can make common cause with high bloods against the injustice of the empire, we can create a new order where everyone is equal. But after talking to all those blue bloods, if I don't have anything to lose by overturning the existing order except my fake chains, but high bloods have everything to lose by giving me more rights, what possible common cause could we have? It seems like the more privilege you have, the more blind you are to the existing flaws in the system, because they aren't really flaws if you're benefiting from them, right? The hemospectrum is strictured so that the perks given to every caste are brutally extra extracted from those beneath them. Sea dwellers don't have to oppress low bloods directly if they have teals like Celsa running the bureaucracy for them. It's easy for me to want to burn the whole system down because I live at the bottom, but the view is probably pretty different from the top. A high blood would have more to gain by appeasing members of the caste above them, 
then they would ever ha they would uniting with us against the system. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably thinking about my intellectual weight class right now. <laughs> this is why Demic is the theory guy. It's only half a it's only been half a day, and I left my since I left my hive, and I already have no idea what to think anymore. Is that a moral thing? Huh? That you need Demic to tell you what to think? Um. Well, every relationship is different. Zephyros, what do you think? I... I just said I don't know yet. Demic would say... Okay, how about this, Zephyros? I'll tell you what I think. Really? Yeah. I think that everything we've seen today would take anyone a while to process. So it's okay if you don't know how to feel about it just yet. You can come up with your own political opinions. You don't have to copy everything Demix says. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like, yes, Joey. I. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in there. All right. Oh, I don't like that music. Okay, maybe I kind of do. I don't like this place. Shahut. <laughs> Look at what we got here. Two little farm fresh rusties primed for the picking. You children even know where you're at? The high blood car? Ah, so you ain't lost. Some maybe existentially the spiritual, existentially and spiritually. You come here to listen to the good word. Good... good word? Just that glorious word of our mirthful messiahs. Those joyful gestures that taught us that this world is just a phantom. A phantom? That's right, little darling. The phantom shadows of a single world. Turning to dust in our claws for the true become... the true becoming. Oh, is this... is this a church thing? A church thing, she says. You never get school fed, my baby bronze. I I guess I never really paid enough attention. <laughs> That's the true way of it. Never had the thing pan for the polit politics or figuring. And my best blue girl tells me I don't know bulge from horn tip when it comes to most things. She and I are on the way to a party at the end of the line, seeing as I'm half a pedigree away from exile. Exile. Exile? What are you being exiled from? Still too young to want to dwell on it. Makes all the sense in the world, sweet thing. So few of your color make it all the way to space anyway. Your boy, he knows what I'm talking about. pervy has got your tongue, boy. That's alright. Smarter to keep it hidden till else it might get taken. Honk. Oh, hi. What's your name? Honk, honk. Oh, um, sorry. I don't think I speak that language. Clown language? Is that a thing? I don't think so. Well, I'm Joey and this is Zephros. Nice to meet you. Honk. Oh, yeah. I've... You've got a necklace. Kareko. Is that your name? Honk. Nice to meet you. Honk, honk. <laughs> oh, boy. Barzum? Hey. What's this? I am not sure, Basil. Z B Bas Basley? But I think it's something. That doesn't belong. Uh, uh, you don't look like high bloods. And this is the high blood car. Yeah, Barzum. Why are they here? No idea. We could always ask them. Or it might be more fun to guess. Are you lost, pretty babies? Bobbies? How are you guys doing that? Doing what? Being so handsome and intelligent and charming? Being the best and most perfect friends? 
the kind you've always wanted. No, I mean, I'm sure you're really good friends, but I'm at the finishing each other's sentences like you've rehearsed it. Maybe we did. Maybe we just know you so well. We've never met before. Or have we? Maybe we met in a dream somewhere. This is kind of freaking me out. I told you. Don't worry. There's no magic trick involved. We just share everything. Okay, great. I really should be over stuff being weird by now, but geez, two small clowns reading each other's minds is still kind of unsettling. Uh, let's just go, Joey. Bye. Bye. Ugh. Is that the... Sub... No. What is this? This is the subject later, right? You know who that is, but you... And you don't want to know, they can stay in that picture. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. Oh, God. Hi, Marvis. Hey, you made it, hot skillet. <laughs> hot skillet? Not too keen on that one, huh? It's interesting for sure. <laughs> I've been on the edge of my seat waiting for you to get here, Joe. I'm really excited to see how you do. Do at what? The engine car is right on through this door right here. Cool. Can you let us through? I sure can. Um, Joey? Um, hi, guys. These are my buddies. Jahit? Hey. Barzim and Bezili? <laughs> and Caraco. Honk! What's going on? No, I sure you want to see, I now I sure want to see you get through to where you've been going to be, Joe. But nothing is ever quite that simple, you feel me? This here door won't open just for anybody. It it doesn't. You see, I want to play a game. What kind of game? It's real simple, Joe. I'm gonna spin the wheel right here on this door. Whatever color it lands on, that's the color of the troll I want you to kill. What? Kill? What do you mean? Please tell me you're joking. Clowns are never joking when it comes to murder. <laughs> I'm sure you do great, Joe. Now step back. I hate this. Although I gotta say, this animation is pretty fucking good. <sighs> it's gonna be rust, isn't it? Oh, hey, that's the, what's his face? The cherub. This is giving me vibes of old Homestuck music. Oh, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. How exciting. Then that settles it. Your first target is a yellow blood. Go and take one out and bring me back proof of your kill. I, I... Joey, this is what I've been telling you. This is how the high bloods operate. The only thing we can do is to get through is what they want us to do. So we have to do it. Oh, you're real talkative all of a sudden, buddy. But you're right. Hey, chin up, Joe. I'm sure you do great. I, I can't just kill a person. Why not? It's so fun. First time for everything, bud. I'm sure you crush it if you put your mind to it. I'm not. I can't. Marvis, you said this one would be fun. Hmm, why don't you just place 
with this here little rusty till my pedro is done. What? Really? Oh shucks, Marvis. You're a real one. Oh, Sephros. Let him go! Nah. <laughs> she's angry now. Honk. Marvis, she's she's hurting him. You have to do something. She. If you want your buddy back, you better hurry up and get the job done, you fear me? I. I. Ayo, hey, hurry along now. See you soon. How am I going to do this? I legitimately, um... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Toby. Bringing back some Homest or Undertale vibes with the slowed music. Maybe, Joey, you should have listened and not messed with the purple bloods. Elward, please, I really need your help. Yeah, what's up, girly? Okay, so we went to the clown car to get through to the engine room, but it turned out that Marvis, who I thought was a nice guy, is actually an evil clown, and his other huge clown friend is holding my friend hostage, and he won't let him go or let us through unless I kill a troll. They spun this wheel, and it landed on Yellow, and they said I had to kill a yellow blood troll, but I've never killed anybody yet before, and I don't want to, and, and, whoa, there, slow down. I don't know what to do. So what you're saying, he's got it, is you've got yourself into a game with a high blood. I guess. Killing somebody doesn't sound like so much of a game to me, though. Damn, you really ain't from around here, huh? No, I'm not! And I've never wanted to be if killing somebody is what you guys, people think is a game. Whoa, getting a little pitch there. I'm so upset and I don't know what to do. Why are you all acting like this is no big deal? Well, it's hardly the first time a clown has roped a lowblood into some dumbass killing game. I don't really know what to tell you, girl. Wish I could help, but if a high blood wants to say something, want something from you, chances are they're gonna get it. So, if what they want, if you know what they want, just give it to them. Do you know, do you think I could like just make them think I killed somebody, but not actually do it? Trying to cheat a clown is a dangerous game, girl. And they're more perceptive than they look. And if you're gonna lie, better be real entertaining. I, I'm just going to go. Oh, she probably has a yellow blood friend. Interesting. Oh boy. How to deal with a murderous clown, historically speaking, by dying. Not now, dear. Very busy. Many things to chew to do. Uh, um, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but... I need to get to the engine room, and I got as far as the high blood car, but the clowns there want me to kill yellow blood if I want to get through. Do you have any ideas how I can do this without killing one of you? Wow. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Have you tried killing the clowns? I'd like to avoid that. I don't know what to tell you, but I have to warn you that I will act in self-defense. Uh, I appreciate... Oh, they're asleep. I guess they look pretty dead as it is. Um, that's not gonna work, but... I don't know why I'm asking you guys, but I have a problem. 
To cut things short, some clowns want me to kill Yellowblood and bring back proof. Do you know how I could do this without actually killing anybody? Well, oh well. Where is that rust blood that's always hanging around you? Getting held hostage by a clown until I do what they want. Shit looks bad for this epic romance, lol. That feel when your morale is clown food. Don't worry, you'll find another one. I knew this would be a waste of time. Maybe she might be of use? Um, do you know how I could, um, kill somebody without actually killing them? Sorry, only one freebie per customer. Sorry, I don't have any advice for this situation. Can I... I know this isn't gonna work. I already know it. <laughs> like, I really don't want to get Zephyrus killed. <laughs> um... I want to do. Okay. I want I do appreciate that, like, all these trolls are actually pretty kind. Maybe this will be enough. Oh, hey, I think I passed the fuck out. What is up? sure this isn't gonna work. I'm already positive this isn't gonna work. Are you alright, dear? Yes, I got a sharp enough blade. you guys would be a good for I was really hoping you guys would be good for a couple more IP acquisitions but oh well hey I think I may have a solution to my problem yes I got this photograph of a troll who was passed out in the yellow car looks pretty dead as it is right damn Looks dead as all get out, but what if it's not good enough? Do you think you could help me edit the photo to make it look a little more, I don't know, gruesome? Yo, Rems, you up for this? Shh. What am I, your servant? Come on, throw me a bone. Fine, send it to me and I'll see what I can do. Did I give you my chitter? Here. There you go. Oh, this will be easy. There's a few dashes of color here, a few there. 
Can't overlook the importance of vermicidious Lindian lighting. There, a piece of grub cake. Eh, not bad. Yuck, that was pretty gnarly. My girl does good work. I am most certainly not your girl. Dude, you really should just get out while you can. There's no winning against high bloods. face sister got you in the way Let's save. Let's see if this will work. I doubt it. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> Marvis, I I did it. I killed a yellow bud, like you said. Wow, and here we thought you didn't have the guts. Well, I'll be damned. You got proof, Joe. Here, I took a picture of what he did. Damn, looks dead, all right. Hold up. Let me get a look at this here photograph. No, wait just a minute. I got a mighty suspicion that this here photograph could be doctored in some fashion or other. I can tell from the pixels. Uh, well, um, it's not. I killed them for real. How did you do it? Yeah, how did you kill them? Um, I stabbed them. So many times. It was messy, as you can see. Do you think we're stupid, little one? Damn buddies. No need to be such a damn kill, Joe, I'm sure. Joe here is a woman of her word. Y yeah, I am. Let's give that wheel another spin. I'm almost positive it's gonna be rust blood. I gotta say that the music is pretty bopping in this. Teal? Teal! It's teal! This one will be interesting for sure. Oh, the teal sure are a feisty bunch. Honk. Zephyros, hang in there. Now, this one's the same as the last. Go out and kill yourself with teal blood and bring a mom back. But bring a little more proof back this time. What am I supposed to do? Bring back a whole potty? Damn, no print. Don't pressure the girl. It just ain't any fun if she doesn't do the D for real. You know I always like to keep trophies for my kills. So I can press them into my scrapbooks. I can show y'all a bit later if it pleases you. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. This time make sure you bring back some solid proof, you hear me? We best know that Troll be dead for sure. I don't like any of this. <laughs> okay. Word has gotten even worse. This time they want me to kill a teal blood. Damn, that is rough. Teals are like roaches. What am I supposed to do? Well, why don't you take a look at the teal card and see what your options are? You think any you think of any way I can help? I'll see what I can do. Elward really is kinda simping for her. <laughs> like at least 
maybe ask her to be a mere memorial? Tagora? I'm not even gonna ask you for help because you just tell me to pay for it. Lies. Hi, Tizius. I have a bit of a problem. Yeah, yeah, what's up? So, uh, the clowns up at the train want to me to kill a teal-blooded troll before they'll release my friend and let me go through the gate. The engine. Do you have any ideas what I can do that, ideally, without doing that? Who? <laughs> That one's a little above my pay grade. Do you get paid for what you do? I uh, sure don't. Just don't kill me, please. I... Not now, dear. Can't you see I'm busy? So busy. So much to do. Run along now. Speak with my assistant. I mean my maids, but if you have any urgent needs... Wow. Alright. So, um, actually, I get the feeling that you would not be the appropriate person to say anything of these things I was about to just say to. What? Hi, Tigiri. Well met. So, I'm kind of in a predicament right now, and... And? Hey, can I just, like, have your sword? Excuse me? You mean my blade? Yeah, your blade. Shh. You're foolish if you think I would give away my pride so easily. What would you what what would get you to give away your pride? Well, what do you want it for exactly? I uh need it to heroically save somebody's life. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That sounds like a very anime reason. I won't give you my true blade, but here you go. My tonto. Uh seriously? Of course, who am I to come between a brave woman and her act of heroism? I wish you the best of luck in your adventures, milady. I really wasn't expecting that to work. Wait. I'm gonna see if I can get blood on it. If I... Let's try this really quick. For a moment, I just found out a friend has been writing... Ooh! I'll check that out for sure. <laughs> or if you can give me the title of it, um, I don't know if... Uh, YouTube allows for links in chat. Uh, <laughs> a lot happened right after you left. Um, he's being held by the clowns, and I have to kill people. But Joey is Joey, and also I don't want to kill any of these characters as much as I hate some of them. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Hey, do you think you could help me get this sword look more like I've killed somebody with it? Damn, you really upped your flirting game, huh, Joey? What? Uh, never mind. Anyway, yeah, I might be able to help. Yo, Rams, you down for another commission? What do you want this time, Elward? <laughs> the game actually got a little bit more interesting right as he left. Um, Marvis, like... I knew from the beginning he was a bad guy just because he's a clown and this game is known. <laughs> um, I figured out how to avoid one thing. Trying to figure out how to avoid the next thing. I'm 90% sure that Rustblood is going to be one of the colors chosen and he's going to try and make me kill Zephros. And hopefully we'll be able to get out of it. Room to breathe. Room to breathe. That sounds somewhat familiar, but I'll check that out. I haven't really been on Umbrella Academy fanfic. I have. I'm slowly running out of things to read because I read too much. Yay. Room. But I would like more recommendations. Vir. 
Since shade, cool. And I got things to read. Yeah, this candle's strong. Okay. Okay. I think you can just hand over some teal paint. That's all we need. Do you have any idea how hard it is to come by teal paint? Make it worth your while. And how do you propose you can do that? I got one of those HTD high ticks. High touch tickets I was planning to scalp at Jeevic Week. Aw, geez, thanks, man. I do love me some Umbrella Academy. Oh well. Candle, no! Um. Oh, I'm too high now. Wait. Hell yeah, that works. Alright. But if you're too good for it, well... Wow, I mean, um... Uh, I cannot believe you would just expose me like this in front of strangers. <laughs> so you want them? No, of course I want them, you utter hag. You got tickets and you didn't tell me? I can't believe this! Paint up the sword and... Jagan's sweaty, sweaty teal palm is all yours to touch, sweetheart. I won't forget this. Give me the fucking sword. Alright. That worked better than I thought it would. I had a feeling that blood would be a thing I could use, but they probably know the smell of blood. I know they're not blind like Terezi, but... <laughs> Good luck on your homework. And thanks for swinging back. Alright, let's go ahead and save again. I really dig this music, though. I just wish it would actually, like... Uh, yeah, I got... <laughs> I got the Animal Crossing little quad palette from ColourPop, and it's the What a Hoot one, and yes, also some red because um, I I have never escaped my somewhat emo days. Here you go. It's proof of my kill. Wow, looks like you actually did it. <laughs> Cool, you did good work, Joe. Just give it over and we can move on to the next one. No, wait just a darn minute. Give that thing on over. Um, okay, here you go. Well, that's real blood, all right. <laughs> wait, really? See, Jehu, nothing to start a ruckus about. We can hustle on over to the next show. But wait, this sword. It's not sharp at all. Oh? Um... This is a fake sword, little miss. Oh, the scandal! The outrage! How'd you go and get so much blood? All on a fake sword. I, um, I hit him really hard. Um, m many, many times. Damn, Joe, that's metal. You the real one for sure. Now hold up. Nah, just one fair and square. But our girl did her work. Aye, let's give it another spin. I hated that. <sighs> Purple? But but that means <laughs> what a who. Nice. Love it. Okay, they're good. <laughs> Fair enough. Sorry, I don't know how much of a lag there is, so... I try to answer as soon as I see anything in the chat. <laughs> That's right. I have to kill one of you? So it seems, Joe. Honk. This is just terrific, don't you think? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. 
Oh, Zephros. Stop it. Put him down. I'll stop. If you stop me. <laughs> Do you have the guts to kill us? Oh, will it be me? Or maybe me? Maybe she'll kill little sweet Karako. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> Seems like you got your work cut out for you. Oh, this is going to be such a party. But for a party, we'll need refreshments. Shucks, you're right. Dang, we only went and drank up all the Fago. Yo, I told you buddies to make it last and you didn't listen. <laughs> we should have listened. Honk. Yo, Joe, I'm pretty sure some more juice stashed back in... I saw some more juice stashed back into the Breastblood car. Why don't you pop down to the caboose and we could really get this shindig a swingin'. <sighs> oh, I'm so excited. I just can't wait to see what you're going to pull this one off. Just keep in mind, none of your little tricks are going to work this time. That eyes are wide open, my wicked sister. No, hurry up and get some of that, Fago. Ugh, Fago. Huh. Oh, jeez. Oh. I'm actually surprised that it hasn't forced me to use, um, or do something to the Ceruleans or the, uh, Rustbloods. Elward, I, I think I'm really in trouble this time. What, the clowns you got doing this time? This time they want me to kill one of them. And I can't really think of a way I could possibly trick them. They were all together just waiting for it to happen. Damn, that is tough. Do you have any advice? Or not this time, girl. I'm sorry. I kind of love Elward. <laughs> She's honestly not that bad. Just checking something. Okay. Oh, I should have OBS open. No, okay. <sighs> Tizius, you got any advice for me? Tizius, you and Stelza. Huh? You two are, well, you're like, you're lesbians, aren't you? Well, what? Like, you're both girls, but you still, you love each other? I mean, yeah, I guess so. She's my meat spirit. Well, don't tell her I said I guess so. Yeah, I do love her. Why? Do, do you, can you like, kiss her? <laughs> what? Yeah, I can kiss her. Even though she's a girl, that's okay here? Nobody ever thinks that's weird if you do that with another girl? Why would anyone think it's weird? I don't know. It's just sort of is, isn't it? Do you think it's weird? Oh, what's wrong with it? And I guess I don't really know. Sounds like something you got to interrogate on your own time. Shout out to Tizius. <laughs> like, honestly, appreciate her. Stan her. Love her. Like, in this game, there's literally, like, it's 90% queer relationships and I appreciate um, all right I need to get some soda I'm 
Simon. Hey, watch where you're pointing those oculars. Don't give me... You know what? I don't want some of your hot dog. I'm just going to grab it right now and throw it on the floor. No, please don't do that. It's all I have. I wouldn't actually do that, so I'm just not having a very good day. Same. Ugh, what am I even doing? There's no soda here. There's not even room for soda. I'm such an idiot. I need to get back to Zephros. I'm curious if that me going all the way back here actually got him killed. Hmm. I'm really hoping not. I like him. Of all the characters in the game, at least he's, like, endearing? Ugh. <sighs> oh, jeez. That probably made me too short. I'm shorter than I already am. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> share. There we go. Cool. Ba -da 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 -da. Let's see if me actually talking to Tizius might have helped. Good luck. Sure, I saved right before leaving earlier. So, oh, hello, Basili. Hello, Joey. Oh, what's the matter, Joey? I um, what are you doing out here? Where is Barzum? Time's up, Joey. You took too long. What? What? Did you think we were going to wait to see how you'd kill us? I'm going to kill you first, Joey. Zephros? Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> You just... Zephros... You just... Zephros, you just killed a person! He was going to kill you! I... I... He... How did you get free, Zephros? Marvis released me. He released you? Just like that? Yeah. After Bisley... After Bisley went after you, he... So... I ran, and, and that happened. Joey, I was just trying to help you. I know, Zephyrus. You did. You... You saved my life. I guess we should go back in. Yeah, we've done what they wanted me to do. Damn. <laughs> was not expecting that. Oh. Yeah, it's not surprising. Hey, Joe. I can't feel him! I can't feel him! <laughs> I can't feel it! I can't feel it! His head! My head! Our head! <laughs> oh god, we just made another Gamzee. I've got to hand it to you, Joey. After all your gosh darn mockery, I hadn't thought you had it in you. But here we are! Honk. I'm real impressed, Joe. You really rose to the occasion this time. No! I didn't kill him! What? But Barzum? He's dead, he's dead. We killed him together. Joey's just being modest. <laughs> eh, no need for that. 
You did a great job, Joe. Don't sell yourself short. Honestly, it's just terrific. You definitely made the best choice out of all of us to kill. Just look at Barzim. What a wicked chuckle. I think you're in a clear ride, buddy. Go right on through. Was not expecting that. Okay. Joey, are you alright? No, I'm not. I'm not alright at all, Zephyros. How can you be so calm about this? Um, we killed a person, Zephyros. Yeah, I know it's hard to the first time. What's the first time? What are you saying? Have you... No, that was my first time too. Please don't be too hard on yourself, okay? It wasn't your fault. You didn't kill him, I did. I'll feel it for you, so you don't have to. Let's just go. Wait, Joey. What? Um, I think I know. Know what? What I think. About the high bloods and our revolution. Yeah? I think the good ones will join, even if we don't offer them anything. Really? Even after... after all that? Yeah. It's because of what just happened that I think so. Because even if it's extremely hard and you don't get anything out of it, even if you have to kill to do it, or even you have to die, defending someone weaker than you is its own word. Um, what do you think? I think you're right, Zephyros. But... But I still feel awful. Yeah. I'm not gonna get emotional about this game! <laughs> oh man. That actually kinda hit. Okay, so I think we need to hit that lever right there. The one he's holding? Yeah, that might be the problem. We gotta disable the drone somehow or it'll sound an alarm. Hmm. Okay, so let's save this. Save. I'm gonna turn this down in my ears because this is loud. Gotta think smaller. Brain part shield activated. Um. What else has we got? Any crazy diamonds? Let's try this. Such a mental compulsion. What else we got? Okay, at least he stayed with me. I mean, I dig this music, if anything. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, 
Okay, so I think we just need to hit the lever over there. He's holding? Yeah, that might be the problem. We gotta disable the drone somehow or it'll sound. Hmm. Try him. Blind him. Brain part shielded and patient disengaged. I figure I have to keep this up. Um, okay, let's ask for a hint. Okay. Breaking the door right away will trigger an alarm. You will need to distract the drone through other means. Brute force. Okay. Light is weightless. So I need something that has weight. Can I get his hat? Dang it. Okay. Hmm. That's what I... Th I thought he did that. Okay. Okay, I think I heard a click. I think that trap door is unlocked. Or okay. They can meet and attach. Okay, that's this one. Let's go to your party for. All right, let's do this. Can I climb in? No. Oh, okay. I think. So, telekinesis on the switch. Telekinesis on that. A uh, bird.
there's a particle in a wave. Can I can I do something here? No. Uh, okay. Turn around to break the jewelry to get through. The busty one. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. So does that mean. No? Okay, here we go, here we go. Flash dance. Oh! I didn't think that would work. Let's do this. Huh. Alright. Can I do this? Can I do this? I need to cut off the drones network. that you could use to sever the drones. That makes sense. Nope. Wait, what? Oh, come on. <laughs> do I have to do all that again? No. What do I have to do? Oh, oh light's going out. You know, this would be fine if I had only one thing. Oh, that's better. <sighs> that's blinding. Ooh, too warm. Wish I could control the brightness of this thing. Oh well. <laughs> Do 
down. Wait, uh, did ten thing take like three hours? Had to. Oh, citations. See, I remember when there was a place where you could just like type in the uh, the books or whatever, or whatever you're trying to cite into a thing and it would automatically do that for you and I knew for sure that it was like 100% free forever and always. Now you have to pay for it and it sucks. I never learned how to properly cite things <laughs> even though I had like college or my high school was like super into MLA and stuff. Even though that's not like people don't even use that really. They use I mean they use APA more than more often than not. Anyway, welcome back. I'm thinking we're almost at end game. Hopefully. Yeah, I had to turn on a light. Ugh. All right, I already figured out how to do this. Hit the lever. Croc. Oh, really? Like, I... <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, it's just the citation. And unless you're doing like super duper important professional things that are published in like other stuff, I, I feel like the citation part, so long as you have like a link to or like the version that you're using or something like that, it should be fine. <laughs> I don't know. I get in like the professional world that it, that it matters, but. Fanfic. Friend to check. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, thank you. And I will also check out their uh, story, hopefully tonight, because I usually read until I fall asleep. But glad you're sticking around. Let's see if I can finish this before, uh, <laughs> before you have to head out. All right. Okay. Burb. Burb. No. Burb. Go through. I don't know how they're getting in, but okay. Oh wait, I had to uh, do this first. Oh. Let's do this first. Shiny. What? No? What was it? Uh, diversity, called diversity and organization. She's got a doctorate in business and because of it, she grades uber hard in APA. Ugh. Like, I get... Like, it sounds like a cool, um, class, at the very least, but, like, it's just... I don't know. Format is just one of those things that, like, as long as it's legible and it's professional sounding, I guess, to some extent, like, who cares? I mean, also, if it's backed by evidence, I guess, whatever. Okay, I know that I'm... <sighs> what am I supposed to do again? You distracted your own or just... woman? Yeah, that's what I did! Come on. She... what? Do you look all... Oh, got it. Wait. I have to get her moving. That's not what I did last time. How did I... What? Make the vote shake her hips by tap... Oh. Really? I didn't even realize I'd done that. Okay. Alright, bird... Oh. Ah, bird through the hole. Alright. Next up is Bat the Glass. And do the glass. Dangerous weather we're having. 
Okay, can I do this? All right, last time I did something, bad stuff happened. So, disable the alarms. Got it, okay. So, uh, can I? Finish him. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I do like the look of it at least. Uh, let's try this. Um, let's do this. No? No? Okay, okay. Uh... Alright, come on. What do I do? What do I do? No? Okay. Can I use this on the bird? Brain part shielded. Alright, tell me game, what do I do? Uh, you did it all you need to do on the switch. What? Okay, I guess that worked. Okay, we did it! <laughs> that was... Okay. Did we do it? I think so. Now we just have to wait until we get to the Critias... She'll know how to get you home. Yeah. We'll be there in a couple hours. We should go back to the rest blood car. And don't forget, we still need to ask around for Skyla Zeusus. No. I don't want to walk through the clown car again. Oh. It'll be okay, Joey. They won't mind. And... And I'm here. I'll protect you. I promise. You know, you... You really are brave. Thanks, thank you, Zephros. Shout out to Zephros for being a true friend. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. Oh shit. Well, um, I think that's act two. <laughs> that took way longer than I thought it would. Like, including the other parts of this game. All right, act two did right. You know, okay, there are moments that I like in this game, but also moments I don't like. I don't like a lot of the characters, but I also kind of like them. I kind of want more from Elward. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world! Um, so last time, I might... I could either do... I could do for the first game. It'll take me a bit to download it again. And you'll see exactly where we left off in that one. And that was fun to have as my main thing. But yeah. Um, I am hoping... <laughs> hoping beyond hope that it doesn't take another four years for the next game to come out because that's what happened last time. <sighs> See, oh hey, Toasty Hat. I know you. I follow them on um, Tumblr. I legitimately also cannot tell if people are outside or if my roommate is just listening to a podcast. Anyway, um, is my roommate, my other roommate home? 
she's not supposed to get home until like late either way uh this was the next game or the next act the next act so i think this is supposed to be three acts or five acts i'm not really sure um oh come on at least list the kicks I get that there were a lot of people who, like, backed this game, but Hussy, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's a little... So, like, admittedly, this took me a little while to finish, just because I had to break it up into parts. I do enjoy a lot of it. I, I like, I feel like it has a lot more gameplay than the first act. And there's a lot of characters that I actually enjoy a lot more. But... Is off, by the way? Oh. That's totally fair. Um, hmm. Mostly... Ugh. I don't have a good place to put this thing. I have like a little... One of those uh, white light thingamajiggers. Ring lights! That's the word. I just... Ugh. Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> that didn't work. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. Um, I'm debating on what I should do if I want to play Act 1. Um, let me see if I can add filters. Let's see. Oh god. Uh, color correction... Sure. Okay, here we go. Brightness. No, that didn't work. Contrast. No. Gamma. No. Saturation. No. Opacity. Huh. I can just tra transparent. Uh, I don't actually know if I can actually... That... <laughs> Let's see if this will work. That might just be it. Hmm. There we go. I should have just done that earlier. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, I couldn't tell if you could see that. <laughs> Not. Um, what was I saying? I'm debating on if I should do Hive Swap Episode 1. I might have some time to do that. It's I know how to beat it, so it doesn't take too long. I can go back to my original plan of Dungeons and Lesbians, uh, or I can switch over to my drawing setup. I actually don't think I can switch over to my drawing setup because it's kind of a mess at the moment. Hmm. What I will do mm, is, uh, do I have Hive Swap 1 on this computer? I think it might be saved onto another thing. Um, yeah, I should do something fun. It's one of those um, story uh, novel things, so it's visual novel. That's the phrase. All right, well, I'm going to take a quick five minute break and I'll start back up at seven. Um, let me put up a thing that I was working on really quick. Did I save it as a picture? Okay. Eh, either way. I was planning to stream for a decent amount of time today, see how I can if I can actually do the thing um for long amounts of time. I do appreciate that you stuck around for so long though. Um Let me grab I don't know where my pen is. Oh, it's in my backpack. Gosh dang it. That's fun. I'll use a mouse. Actually, no, I have text. I will switch over to... Um, uh, do, 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 do. Oh no. That's not it. Gaming. <laughs> Gosh, I love this program. Um... I should have done this beforehand. That's the wrong layer. There we go. B R B. We 
you know what? Not bad for writing with a mouse. Okay. Um, ship save, intermission, PNG. Sure. And okay.
meaning working? No. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's fix this so that it's smaller. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> All right, there we go. That's better. I can center that and open this back up. And there we go. Ha ha ha. This works. <laughs> um, God, I've been streaming for three hours. That's a while. That's a long time. if the audio is all right or not. Hopefully it is. I'm going to sit back a little bit. Ugh. All right, there we go. This is literally right in my way. I feel that. Oh, ho, ho. that sounds painful. <laughs> Like my hour and a half long streams are like just right, but I want to start doing longer streams. I just need to find a good balance of my life in time. <laughs> All right, let's start. I hope this is um the new game, not. Oh, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Hello, hero. Oh. That would be interesting. It's good to see you. You will enter a world of swords and sorcery, where giant lizard things think thievery and regicide is a good idea. Wait a minute, you read this already? No, I haven't. No? <laughs> Rise of the way through, I took it out, just lay down. That's totally fair. Wait, did you like literally go straight for six hours? <laughs> like, honestly, props to you for doing that, but yeah. 10 minutes to just lay down is like 100% earned. <laughs> um, my my, I've seen you come back again, haven't you? What's wrong? Haven't had enough? Do you regret something? Well, whatever it is, remember you can always press control to skip dialogue you've already seen. Your friends won't mind. Anyways, let me show you what you look like. Don't question what you, why you look like that. It's time to name yourself. What is your name? We're gonna keep it simple. Just be Chachi. And you are... Hell yeah! Welcome, Chachi! The thing is, the world has always been one that longs for a hero. What's a hero? Someone who fills the world with change and splendor? With courage and love in their hearts? But remember, a hero isn't one person. No man is an island, or so they say. I might recommend for you to build up your relationships, be in touch with your heart, so you can touch others. That sounds weird. I'm not Fenris. In other words, be as gay as your heart desires, you funky little lesbian. You're getting what you paid for. Venture thus into the world, and let your heroic tales unfold. This has like 2013 humor, and I'm kind of here for it. Up. Level. You arrived. Heck yeah! Final boss! Hell yeah! <laughs> Wait, am I a bard? Don't copy me, you nerd! Alright, alright, shut it! It's my turn! I mean, Lena's going to continue! Thanks, Rafi. <clears throat> so we've all come to the end of your journey. Flames roar all about you, trapping you in a cage of heat and noise. Unnaturally high for your run-of-the-mill forest fires, those ain't no ordinary flames. They're magic ones cast by the very evil sorcerer. Yes, the one right in front of you right now. 
So you mere fools, you were foolish fools to think you could ever defeat I, Prozac, the powerful. The very evil sorcerer cackles, raising his high staff to the sky at your obvious defeat. Or so it seems. Hold it, fiends! A literal knight in shining armor, the tank of your party rises, basically blinding you in her glory. For eons, you thou reigned terror. For eons, thou reigned eons of terror, pushing the innocence of this land into um a reign of terror. Well, no more, my trusty fellow allies of truce, trust shall vanquish thee. Her heart-rending speech strikes a chord in all your hearts. You, her trusty ally of trust, cannot simply stand mutely moot. Um... Here we go. Do you have a donkey? Because we're here to kick your ass! <laughs> what elegant words. <laughs> Hell yeah. As expected of a bard, inspired by your poetry, the remaining member of your party, too, scrambles to a stand. With newfound unfamiliar valentness, she points an accusing finger at the very evil sorcerer. Determination burning in her eyes, she opens her mouth, capturing the full attention of the enemy. I have no part in this. I'm actually just in it for the money. In fact, she offers ten gold to attack your party instead. Silence reigns across the dungeon. The sorcerer ponders the business offer. Uh... Oh. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna fight the big bad guy. This is your chance. You throw your dank guitar at the sorcerer while he is distracted. You, a brilliant strategist, devise perfect plans that you execute immediately. Dank guitar smashes into smithereens at the very sorcerer's head. You gain 10 plus in punk. You also shed a single tear for dank blood, dank guitar sacrifice. The very evil sorcerer falls to his knees. Now, it's just the time for the final blow. The paladin raises her brave sword, the hunter her bow, and you have nothing after smashing your dank guitar, so you don't really do anything. With a flash of blinding light, the evil ruler of this land is no more. Finally, the evil has been defeated. The dungeon is quiet, the roaring of the magical flames extinguished along with the sorcerer's defeat. The adventure, the quest you've all spent together, is over. This land shall suffer under his iron-fisted cruelty no more. Thinking that should clear your hearts, but for some reason, you feel a sense of emptiness within you. Have you ever felt that sense that something is missing? Like there's a hole inside of you you have to fill. This empty feeling. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> there we go. You know what it is. Hunger. What? What? We're taking a break. I want sandwiches. Ignoring your friend's protest, your GM strolls leisurely to her kitchen. This D&D session can't continue without her here, so you stew in silence. Well, I was just getting a bit tired. It's due for a break. Ugh. Having become interested in D&D lately, you and your friends have been pretty into this nerd cred. Speaking of, what have you decided to name your character? Give your character a very cool name. Um, the dinkest of guitar, uh, guitarist. Uh, no, the dinkest of drummers. That's why the guitar was a sacrifice that they were willing to make. Um, yeah, no, you actually named your character Sir Swaggerballs. Yes, yeah, Sir Swaggerballs is a pretty cool name. Now that's what I'm talking about! Anyway, you, you suddenly get a very particular and strong desire to induce your friends to yourself. You wonder briefly why ever you would feel this urge as someone familiar with them already, but whatevs. Um, think about you. That's you, a singy boy. <laughs> So notice the bard, the adventurer poet, and completely- That's not true! The bard is very helpful when everybody in your party doesn't have healing. <laughs> uh, it, you feel it reflects your true soul. It's your first time with D&D, but you've already concluded that the singing boy is the best class. Objectively. Agreed. 
Who cares if you had zero attack or defense points? You got to seduce everything. I'm not here for seducing. I'm here to just wreck shit. <laughs> Ironically. Your little duel of Dink Guitar brings nostalgic tears to your eyes. Alright. Who's our paladin? Bards are indeed awesome. They rock. Literally, especially the glamour bards. Like, shout out to my glamour bards. <laughs> them. The paladin is run by Raffi over here. She's the sweetest girl you've ever met. Once she gave you an entire bowl of sweets. Sure, it was a bowl of mixed with m and m Skittles and tiny little rocks that looked like sweets, but that's it's the thought that counts. The hunter is run by the gremlin over there. Her name is Gwen, and she's small. <laughs> I feel attacked. You have a long, deep-seated desire to throw down with her for once and for all. She is your sworn enemy. <laughs> this campaign is run by Lena, who just went into her kitchen. That's what you call... She's what you call cool and aloof. She may be a bit of a mom friend. Since she got her own place, that's where you're at now. She always chides us for leaving milk out in the open. Which is legit. Don't leave the milk in the open because it'll go bad because of how we do things to it. You also suspect she is secretly a genius. Think about the random dude in the background. Oh, that's Jim. <laughs> oh no. A thief. Just an ordinary boy. Say hi to Jimothy. Yes. You say hi inwardly, hoping your thoughts reach his ordinary heart. It totally did. <laughs> like here. I want to maybe continue what I was doing, which is not introducing people. Sure, fine, whatever. You return to your boring life full of not introducing. In your stupor, you realize most of your friends have moved off to different sides of the room, eager to explore Lena's new house. Um, Let's actually say hi to Jimothy. You call it to Jimothy, who's watching TV. Hey! Hi. Jimothy goes back to whatever brain rotting program he's watching. <laughs> Let's go talk to Lena. What you doing? Making sandwiches. Want to help? You can help out Lena, then hang out with the others within your break time. Sure. Yeah. You start helping out. What a nice house guest you are. You decided to criticize Lena's pants to even it out. But her pants are red! I've said this already, but you're- I disagree with my own character. Hey, my house, my rules. She gives you a cool shrug. It's so cool, the room temperature instantly falls by 10 degrees Celsius. Yeah, only a cool person with cool pants can do that. Damn, she is secretly a genius. Awed by her sheer coolness, you only realize after a while the sheer number of sandwiches you're making. Whoa, that's a lot. It's for everyone, too. That's really nice of you. Lena looks a little pleased as she finishes up the stack of sandwiches. I'm not, really. I'm just tired. I'm just used to taking care of my twin brother. I was always the more mature one. No wonder. I'm kind of curious what you were like as a child, actually. I still have... Uh, <clears throat> I still have pictures. I'll show you if we have time. I'll take the sandwiches to the table. Could you help me put the milk back in the fridge so the milk babies don't die? What? You know, the milk babies. They die if you leave them if you don't put them back in the fridge. That's why the milk tastes bad when you leave it out, you know? Lena chides you gently as she leaves you in object confusion and more confusion. Milk babies? Could it be Lena's dumb? <laughs> no, no way. No way, you say, but the mystery nags at your mind. There's no way she's actually not smart, right? No, I believe in the milk babies. Believe in the milk babies. <laughs> mystery of Lena added. <laughs> um, let's lounge on the couch. What are you doing? No, well, nothing yet. Say, have you watched Infinity Wars yet? No. Captain 
Spoiler alert! Captain Iron Eyes, you no longer want to make small talk with Raffi. <laughs> That's definitely a thing. All right. All right, Gwen. Approach. If you think you've beaten me with your sick-ass guitar smashing, you're wrong. What an annoying brat. Turn. Uh, sure, let's, let's just spend time with Raffi. What you doing? Oh, you know, resting. Want to chill with me? You can chill with Raffi before hanging out with the others within your break time. Chill like a cool kid? Hell yeah! You oblige, gently placing yourself next to Raffi. The cushion you're on bends from your weight. How are you doing? Um, I'm having fun. It's great. I don't really care, but that's great. Contrary to her words, you spot a small grin in the corner of her lips. When she turns back to you, it has smoothed back to her usual peaceful, laid-back smile. Peaceful and laid back, like usual. Like usual. Want to help me draw on Lena's bathroom mirror and with permanent markers? Offering to help decorate your friend's house? How thoughtful. You were touched by this kind gesture of Lena. Um. It is your duty to help such a thoughtful deed. You get up from the couch, tagging along with Raffi to the toilet. Or so you were about to until a wild Jimothy blocks your way. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Raffi and Shachi. And who are you to stop me? Someone who owns this house. That is a lie. All three of you know full and well this place belongs for 20% to Lena. But Jimothy doesn't have a single heck to give. Well then, what are you going to do about it? Her tone is challenging, insulting even, but somehow it is Jimothy's responding gaze that sends goosebumps upon your spine. <laughs> Raffi. I know, I know that you know that I know a lot of things about you, like your true identity. <sighs> like what? When you're less than three. Raffi's already holding your hand and dragging you back to the couch. How assertive. Maybe next time, Chaji. Jokes aside, it's the first time you've seen Raffi this shaken. You can't stop wondering about what happened. What did Jimothy mean about her past? And her identity? The mystery nags at your mind. Mystery of Raffi added. Alright. Spend break with Gwen. Gwen is fiddling on her phone, furiously typing something. You vaguely catch some photos flash past her screen. You have time to sit down and figure out what she's doing before hanging out with others within your break time. Should I just do that? You take your seat back at the table. Glenn Glare- oh, gosh dang it. Right-clicking makes it so that it wants me to save! Gwen glares at you or stare curiously. You can never really tell. As soon as your eyes glance over, the screen turns black. Ugh, how dare she try to protect her privacy by turning off her phone. What was that? It's nothing! Go back to being a nerd! Yeah. Yeah. You nerd. I'm not a nerd, you're the nerd. You are. Your face is nerdier, nerd. Stop yelling, you two. We just finished playing D&D. You both are nerds. Under Raffi's infinite wisdom, you enter a grudging truce. I can't believe you smashed your guitar. It was your dank guitar. You generally correct her, the correct term is dank guitar. Anyways, didn't you love that thing? Um, now I can air guitar. Why would you do this? Gwen opens her mouth to say more, but is distracted by a ping on her phone. This is your chance. You may be a complete idiot with two remaining brain cells more than me, but you do have a sharp eye for chances. What are you looking at? Gwen raises her head in a daze. Cryptids. What? Nothing! Go away! As Gwen rejects further conversation, the question nags at your mind. Could it be Gwen has a relation to cryptids, or the mystery is seriously nagging at your mind? The mystery of Gwen added. Okay, you are not- you don't have two brain cells. You have zero brain cells. One of them activates for a second, 
to come up with some cockamamy idea or some I like some mystery. Uh, what? <laughs> Say hi to Chip. Hey. Hi. All right. I guess we're done talking to people. Just as you figure you're done talking to your friends, a wild Jimothy approaches again. <laughs> you briefly wonder if this is how wildlife encounters feel. <laughs> I feel like that's rude. Hey, Jimothy just nods back. You realize you don't know anything about Jimothy. He's always there when you come over to Lena's house. Lena just introduced him as T Jimothy when you first met. You would think he's her lover or whatever, but Lena's about as straight as a ruler. A bindi ruler. <laughs> Why would she use a ruler? <laughs> and to be honest, you've always been too afraid to ask. They're twins. <laughs> Who in the world are you? I'm Jimothy. <laughs> you don't know how to answer that. And Jimmy speaks no more. <laughs> now that Jimothy's silent, you start to reflect by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Today has been real fun, but talking to your friends has given you something you've become really, really curious about. <laughs> Honestly, this is a fucking mood. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Okay, um, honestly, you really want to figure out- I want to figure out the mystery of Lena. What is the Milk Babies? Well, you guess you'll do your best to figure that out. Your inner monologue is interrupted by Lena's voice and a pile of sandwiches. Now everyone, get your asses here. Intermission's over. With everyone in tow, you shamble over. You realize this is a good chance to ask something. Wait, yeah, I have a question. About Jimothy. Who is he? He's my bitch. <laughs> Lena turns. <laughs> I love this. Lena turns to Jimothy on the couch. Give me three glasses of beer. No. Lena turns back. The incident will not be remembered by history. <laughs> so instead, Lena, no, the game master clears her throat. As the words fill the space of the room, everyone feels themselves transitioning into the fantasy land of their creation. Oh, and the sandwiches? They're delicious. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> it's finally over. The land is free. You're free. From this heavy burden the world has placed upon your shoulders. No more innocent blood shall be shed. No more civilians shall cry for mercy. The evil sorcerer has been felled. As you emerge from the dungeon cave place thingy, you shield your face against the blinding light of the sun. Wait, wasn't it night? You realize the blinding light is the light from the torches of soldiers here to capture you. Turns out, murder is illegal. What? We killed a bad guy. I mean, we vanquished an evil foe for justice. Hey, get out of my face. According to law... Uh, murder is illegal, but ruling your land with evil sorcery and threats isn't. Curse outdated laws created by those in power that make no sense in its application. Luckily, you haven't been discovered yet. Uh, let's charm. You roll for charm. Getting a 15 or higher means you will be successful. Let's roll. Roll. You rolled. 15! The god of dice has smiled upon you, and you were successful. With a not-evil grin upon your face, you successfully evade the law. You, you probably commit tax fraud, too, you absolute criminal. A murder charge upon your name, you manage to sneak away. Oh, crap. I, Jimothy, a commoner, sees criminals trying to get away. Wait, hold on. Jim! Jim, I, Jimothy, a commoner, sees criminals trying to get- I know that this is not the character, but immediately. <laughs> the Jim twins. Oop. Get away. Alerted by a nameless commoner, the soldiers immediately zero in on you and your friends. As soldiers cast a sleeping spell on you, the last thing you see is Jimothy. I'm sorry, Lena's friends. You know I had to- you know I had to do it to him. <laughs> the fucking humor in this, I hate. Why is he here? I wanted to feel included. And I let him. Because I'm the game master. 
Curse the almighty power of the Game Master. There's absolutely nothing you can do. Moving on. You all wake up in a prison. You also curse Jimothy. Your Game Master kindly reminds you that stabbing Jimothy is not allowed. We need to break out. You wholeheartedly agree. Unfortunately, without your trusty dink guitar, you feel a little down as a bard. But your line of bards were born to be free. In fact, you couldn't even wait nine months to be born. You came out in seven. That's <laughs> so dumb. Everyone that tells you that's not a good thing as a hater should be ignored. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Anyways, quick, think of a plan. The guard is right out there. Steal the guard's keys. Let's examine the surroundings. Oh, jeez. I will be right back. Um. Uh, bloop. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Have fun streaming. I'll if I'm still if I I might finish up a little bit early just cuz streaming for a while. But um I'll see if I can catch your stream before it ends. <laughs> Thanks for swinging by, Michael. All right. Uh not a bad idea. You turn to the wall. <clears throat> An ominous skeleton is chained to the wall, implying doom you may face. You, if you don't hurry the fuck up. Uh, examine the wall. You scale a bit, and you find a crack in the wall. Guys, hmm? I have an idea. Burn them? The guard returns, finding wall smashed, ball the emotional support skeleton in pieces, and the two-thirds of you literally on fire. He slowly backs away. Another guard appears to witness your state, tearfully vowing to avenge Ma the she escorts you. A place you've never been before, and never should have been, that is. A low voice suddenly emerges from a nearby cell as you pass it. Hands bound, you strain to hear it. Remember to keep your wits about you, heroes. This will be your worst trial yet. Take my advice to your hearts. If you have one still, for I am Jimothy. Okay, break time. Jimothy? Hi. I wanted to be included again. And I let him. Again. Okay. What? You got a problem? Huh? What you gonna do about it? Curses. The GM has ultimate power, and he cannot defy her. Also, someone come to the store with me to buy drinks. I wanna come. Let me come with you. Someone's gonna stay to watch the house. And Jimothy's disappeared for some reason. 
Time to take the bullet like a goddamn hero. I'll stay behind. I don't want to move anyways. Really? Well, then I'll pick you. I'll let you pick whoever here to go with you. Ah, bless the undefying powers of the GM. Quick, pick someone you want to stay home with. Um... Lena. Curses to find a loophole in my own logic. All right, all right. We'll stay behind together. Lena hands them some cash along with instructions. You request them to buy you a Pepsi Zero? Gross. They refuse, so you vow to curse them with your dying breath. As the door closes behind your friends, Lena waving to them, you realize this is a perfect opportunity to unveil that mystery. Specifically the one about Lena's secret uh, idiocy. Hey, Lena, uh, could you maybe tell me more about Milk Babies? Oh, did no one tell you about them? <clears throat> They're the science behind why milk goes bad. They live in milk and make them taste good. But they can only live in cold places, so you can make so you have to make sure they don't die by putting them in the fridge. Jimothy told me all about them when I was little. Lena points to Jimothy, who has suddenly appeared on the couch. You stifle a little scream. <laughs> He's actually pretty smart. You are kind of impressed. How old are were you? Seven. Did he uh, teach you anything else? Well, he taught me McDonald's burgers always come with a bite in them. I nearly accused him for it when I was smaller. How embarrassing. I think McDonald's stopped doing that, though. <laughs> I kind of love her. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> right, Jimothy? I lied. Lena laughs. He's always like that. Jimothy ambles away, having nothing more to be said. You've confirmed it. Lena was secretly an idiot. You were thrilled with this amazing discovery. You gained 1,000 experience. Not that you can use it in real life. You guys are really close, huh? You try not to laugh as you picture young Lena believing every bull young Jimothy fed her. Yeah, do you want to see us in childhood? Surprised, you nod, and she takes out her phone. Identical kids stand together, stand stuck to each other, happy small smiles on their faces. Lena, Lenjamin, and Jimothy. Lenjamin and Jimothy. We were really close when we were younger, but now we're grown ups, so we're not so clingy anymore. You recall Lena randomly including Jimothy in D&D or how Jimothy just stays there when he doesn't live here? How would- you would beg to differ about that statement, uh, but something in its tone makes you stop. Something like reassurance? Why would Lena reassure you that she isn't clinging to her brother anymore? Lena shows you a little more of her photos in childhood, and you settle into a comf comfortable rhythm. There's a strange kind of intis intimacy in it huddling close together as you flip through nostalgic photos close to her heart. Somehow, being with Lena is really relaxing. All of a sudden, Lena hesitates, then puts her phone down. You get the feeling she realized, it's only the two of you together. Knowing it is one thing, feeling it is another. Can I tell you something? You nod curiously, and Lena continues. To be honest, for a long time I couldn't really stand to look at my photos when I was younger. I got my own house. I have my brother and friends like you who see me as I am. I should be happy my parents didn't like hit me or kick me out when I told them, but they still call me a boy when I come over. So looking at photos we took as a family feels a bit strange. Lena's face holds the same impassivity as ever, and yet her finger, her fidgeting fingers tell you otherwise. I'll take her hand. Gently you place your hand onto Lena's. She leans into the touch. You squeeze it. Because the thing is, you want to try and make her feel safe and important. Safe and important like she tries to make everyone feel. Like she makes you feel. Like you were someone who was a someone to her. Because she, she is someone who is a someone to you. When you relax your hold, Lena's face looks red. She leans into your shoulder. You feel the warmth of Lena's shoulder through the thin fabric of your sleeve. And you stay like that for a while, in silent peace. 
Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Both you and Lena jump away from each other. You discover you're disappointed by the sudden cold around you. Your cheeks flush. Lena. Lena goes to talk with Jimothy, and you, well, you sit awkwardly on the couch, trying to calm your cheeks. What the hell was that? Soon after your internal, internal turmoil, your friends return with food and a Pepsi Zero, even though disgust is evident on their faces and mine. Nice. Curses shall not befall them in your dying breath. It takes a scuffle to return to each of your seats. Soon enough, though, the game master clears her throat. And it begins. <clears throat> the trial of the murder of the victim, Prozac, very evil sorcerer, McEvil, commences. The Queen Majesty herself is the judge. The thought. She's not a thought. She's a hard-working queen. What do you think, Sir Swaggerballs? All women are queens. Ignoring you all, the judge picks up the gavel and knocks it against the stand. The trial commences. After the opening statement, accusing you three of a heinous crime of murder, terrible, the prosecution calls the witness to the stand. If all your playthroughs of phonetic rights are to be believed, this is the bit where you can prove your innocence. Better keep your wits sharp, Sir Swaggerballs. The guard of the prison comes to the stand. As a guard of this kingdom, it is my duty to be observant. And obviously, these criminals hate rocks. What? Nuh-uh, some of my best friends are rocks. When I found them, they were viciously attacking a stone wall. And look what I found at the scene of the crime. The guard holds up a rock. Somehow you recognize it from one from the cave. I hate that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love that. The rock is smooth, like really smooth. It's nearly a pebble, but not quite. It's still a rock. Hold up. I examine the rock. Why would you need to examine a rock? What if that rock is poisonous? What if it touching it kills you? The choice of a lifetime dawns upon you. Don't touch the rock! You're right, she has a point. Risking your life to reassure someone is but a foolish gamble. You gained one sensibility, along with the title of a coward. Whatever, being called a coward is a cheap price to your hecking life. It's survival of the fittest, lads! Wait! The court whispers amongst themselves. I realized. The rock is crucial evidence that we are innocent. With a jolt, you realize what she is talking about. Quick, this is your time to help out. Oh my god, smooth and pose, scissors, probably. Uh, yeah. Raffi shines a rare ap approving smile in your attention. Direction. You beam. You hear Gwen tutting in the background. You see, sires. This proves exactly that our actions were justified self-defense. Please look at this rock. The jug cranes and observes it. You have no idea what's up. Did the sorcerer somehow carve a written confession on it? Smooth, is it not? This smoothness shows the sorcerer was, in fact, using the high magical powers to burn our surroundings to a false degree. Using the magic he was so proud of. But you can use fire magic. We just saw you try to explode out of the prison. Heh, that is but a magic missile. As evidence, you can look at the cell we were just at. The rock should be jagged. What amazing deception. The court whispers amongst themselves until the judge bumps their gravel. Order in the court. Having listened to both sides, it is very obvious the verdict is not guilty. You're free. You and your friends get charged with small fine anyways, but victory and freedom is sweet. Congratulations, hero. Not only have you purchased land of evil and saved your friends' hides, you've also gotten scot-free. Got You've also gotten scot-free of murder. And really, what more could a hero want? You celebrate joyously with your friends, wishing more than ever for your dank guitar so you could play a happy little tune. Sacrifices have been made, but it has been done. You have earned your happy ending. And today's campaign ends. Good job, guys. Thanks, Lena. That was fun, I guess. And it's already late at night, huh? With a shock, you realize it's past midnight. And how fortunate that you're the only one without a car. 
While you're calculating taxi fares, though, your, voice, your friend's voice calls out to you. I'll drive you home. You're a little surprised, but pleased nonetheless as she takes her keys. As she instructs Jimothy to lock the door when everyone leaves, you say goodbye to your friends. They happily tell you it was fun. You sure are looking forward to hanging out again. Lena holds your ha you by the hand as she leads you out without hesitation. Her hand is pretty cold. You hold it tighter as if to warm it up a little as you walk. And walk you do in silence, warming each other if only by touching between two palms. Finally, she opens her mouth to speak. Chachi? What? It's a cool name. Thanks. I, uh... It was really nice having you today. Like, really, really nice. Talking to you about memories I love. We're just sitting quietly together. You feel something in your chest flutter at the sincerity in her words. How strange. Your touching hands are only so great, and yet the heat from Lena's hands warms your entire body down, right down to your heart and right up to your ears. You know, I love spending time with you today, too. Because I really like you, Lena. Thanks. A giggle escapes you. You suddenly realize you don't need to keep holding her hand. You're warm already, and yet, to be honest, you don't really want to let it go. Hey. My house, uh, I'm not used to living alone, so it feels a bit lonely. Do you want to come over this Saturday? We can watch movies or play games or just the two of us. I'm, I'm asking this as a date. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. The hand you're holding shifts. The friction feels incredibly heated. No, but incred but comfortably so. As you look at her smile, a pretty smile, the smile of your a someone, you have a thought, a natural thought really, a thought you're looking forward to it, too. As natural as the gravity that pulls your head down in a single nod, as natural as your breath filling up the space between the two of you, something sparkles above you as you accentuate your promise. Oh, a shooting star. I've never seen one for real before. Shooting stars, huh? That means someone farted while thinking of me. <sighs> My brother told me that. Of course he did. And he also told me, if you see a shooting star while holding hands, it means you'll be... Lena looks incredibly sweet as her voice trails off. Brows furrowed as she searched her memories. Okay, Chachi, don't fuck this up. Be cool for once in your life. Uh, 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 say something cool. Your lucky star? Shit, shit, shit! You fucked up! You finally got somewhere and this is what you say the coolest person you know? You force a smile, praying this dumpster fire goes unnoticed. To your surprise, Lena isn't looking at you with absolute disgust, but with fondness? You know what? Why not? Your heart tickles. Hey, Lena. You step forward just a little closer, just a little bit, closing the tiny gap between you and her. She looks to you, realizing what you're about to do, and you... If you don't want this, move away, okay? She doesn't move away. Your lips leave a gentle mark on her cheek. Aww. God, that was cute! <laughs> All right. All hail Jimothy. <laughs> hmm. Let's do let's do all the let's do all the reps and then I think I'll call it cuz uh tired jeez and rice. Huh. Alright, here we go. Bloop. I wonder what made you make this value to pay for it. Oh, money you could have used for better things like donating to kittens, but your bad choice is your own. Honestly, I love this. Wait a minute, you've read this already. My, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? 
Your name. Yes. Skip. Heck yeah. Skip. Uh, bloop. Bloop. Um, Marie. Wait, Sir Swagger Balls. Whoa. Well, uh, sure, you stupid time looper. <laughs> Anyways, you surely got a particular, very particular strong desire to. <laughs> I like that. All right. Um. Sure, fine, whatever. Let's talk to Gwen at the table. Sprint break. Should I do just that? Wait, what? Oh yeah. Uh, you're the nerd. You are. Okay. Now I can hear guitar. Why would you do this? I'm done talking to people. We're gonna follow Gwen. Uh, why are you always being on the couch? I like the couch. You don't know how to answer that. Jimmy speaks no more. Now that Jimmy is quite silent, you start to reflect by yourself. Alright. Um, who is he? He's my bitch. Uh, charm. Roll. Uh, examine the spooky skeleton. It's just a skeleton, a friendly looking man, then that's it. Where is it? You can't help but feel that there is something to the skeleton, it seems. Something more heroic and really supportive. Exactly because of that, Rafi, I mean, the paladin instinctively kicks the skeleton in orber. The guard hurries to your cell, tears in her eyes. Leave both the emotional support skeleton alone! The spooky skeleton on the wall has a name now. Make peace. Use your sudden charming skills as a bar to roll, seduce Bob's is charmed and soothed by your kind words. With your help and your company, Bob the emotional support skeleton is able to overcome his long-lasting fear of commitment. Turns out the true support skeleton was inside you all along. Now willing to be brave under your new friendship, Bob the support skeleton, emotionally support skeleton, makes to propose to his makes to propose to his boyfriend everyone especially the guard is extremely touched by the turnout of this event good job the guard moved by your compassion agrees to help <laughs> the truth is this place has no key what the guard explains that this particular spell has been enchanted with a powerful spell so unnecessarily evil everyone's wonders why they did that the only way to open it is for to reach the time of judgment or to obtain that that explain that wench much to your surprise, a little laughter emerges from the cell beside you. Foo foo foo. That, huh? How foolish. No one has seen that in centuries. Quiet, prisoner. Pray tell, what is that that you speak of? What's the point of knowing something you can never have? But very well. I like the look in your eyes. That is a GF. A GF? I see. A GF. Ha, of course, it was the GF. Uh, why are your friends so cool with it? A girlfriend? You need a girlfriend to break out of prison? You seriously consider the logistics of a girlfriend in breaking out of jail? I mean, you do want a girlfriend regardless, regardless, preferably among your very hot best friends, but it's true that it's impossible. No one has seen a GF in this land for ages. And in fact, I'm pretty sure it's against the law now to make a GF or bring a foreign GF here. What's the deal with GF in this land? Does this place discriminate against girlfriends? Though you could always make them in privates. A whole bunch of GFs, that is. You want to do that. How do you do that? You really need one. You really need to know how to do that. Just seeing a GF is enough for me to arrest you. They're dangerous, after all. Guns and firearms, that is. Oh, you knew that. You totally knew that all along. Yeah. From the way your friends avoid your gaze, it seems they were clueless as well. Well, studies from long ago, from a long time ago, showed GF violence is directly linked to the availability of GFs. 
Only a really stupid country would allow chefs low <laughs> knowing that, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, shading a certain country has made trial time arrive. Curse the illusion of the passage of time. You even tried blowing up the wall and lost a ship or two. It doesn't work. Just looks at you in a really shameful pity. You try to avoid your gaze. Alright. Uh, we'll stay with Gwen. Hmm. <laughs> it's you and me, Lena. Don't burn the house down. You crush them to buy you a Pepsi Zero. They refuse so you've had to curse them upon your dying breath. As the door closes behind your friend, you went closer to Gwen. Hey. Hey, nerd. She squirms a little, already fiddling with her phone, kids these days. A familiar sight on her phone screen, though you can't exactly figure out what it is. This is your chance to figure out her mystery. You sneak closer, much to Gwen scowling as you put on your cutest, most adorable face. It's hard to tell since you don't have eyes, but biological components are the least of your obstacles. Gwen makes a weird face at you, noting it's not one of disgust, at the very least, you press on. Will you tell me what you're reading? Pretty please? Gwen glances at her phone, then to you, then to the phone again, then to you, then to the phone again. You look up. She, then she mumbles something, and you lean in to catch her. Tids. What? Titties? I was looking at cryptids. I, uh-huh. Some of you feel like you should have expected something like this. That's, as you mull it over, you begrudgingly accept something. Actually, kind of cool. At that, Gwen's eyes shine brighter than 10,000 watt light bulb. Cryptid hunting is the, the occasion with highest esteem. In fact, Gwen looks around suspiciously, then strains her height to reach her ears. Her breath tickles. Let me send you something. She fiddles with her phone, and yours pings with multiple messages with image attachments. Have you heard of our local cryptid, Vodingus? Is it related to he who? You've not. You pretend you have. It's extremely rare, you know, catching the dingus in action. They're like really fast. And I, I caught it on tape. The tape she's referring to turns out to be a shaky picture on her smartphone. Is that Raffi? The cryptid in the photo shines unnaturally in the darkness of its surroundings. An actual cryptid? Behold, the dingus. You look closer. Something about that uh, dingus looks familiar. The cryptid looks suspiciously like one of your friends. But would Raffi sneak at what looks like a 3 a.m. in the morning just to catch Gwen off guard? Actually, she would. So I think it's true that the dingus sheds its head once in a while. I mean, look. She sends the next photo. On the other hand, that, on the other hand, looks like a photo of a lone crouching creature in the same owl-like shine in their eyes. In their hand is a can of cheap Japanese beer brand as they slink in the darkness of a bush behind McDonald's. You wonder what is with McDonald's in this uh, cryptid. That's where I've been hiding out with Lena after the first encounter and it worked. I've got a bunch of more pictures since the stakeout. I am also going to be right back because I'm not feeling great. BRB.
da 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 uh gaming there we go <laughs> i was trying to figure out how to get this back all right here we go almost done and your phone starts reading frantically with the 142 images she's sending you you realize more and more the zones of the cryptid to lena drinking beer why is she drinking beer behind a dumpster at mcdonald's the hunt's been, like, super lucrative since I started the diner stakeout, though Lena's pretty useless. She keeps leaving me once in a while, and this cryptid always appears when she's gone. Maybe it's true that Dingus only shows themselves to solitary presences. <sighs> Dingus, I'll get you one day. On one hand, you wonder if you should tell her. On the other hand, this is literally the sweetest expression you, you had and ever will have seen. You don't think you've seen the side of Gwen before. This level of enthusiasm seems to make her sparkle almost. It's a silly thought. Still, it's really nice seeing her so excited about something. You want to see it more. At least, that's another silly thought you have. You notice Gwen's flickering gaze at you. Hey. Thanks for, um, being interested in this. You always pretend- we always pretend to fight and stuff, I guess, but- I did always want to be closer to you, you know? And all this cryptid stuff. They're really important to me, I guess. She has a shy but determined look on her face. I, I have trouble being honest with anything. It's weird to say this, but it's true. When I like someone, it always feels like I'm chasing them and they're chasing me. And one of us will get tired out, always. I don't know, but I don't know how to stop. It's hard to talk to people about how I feel. Weird, right? Uh, Sherry, something I've, I've an interest in, really, and hunting cool things together side by side would be nice. It would, really. It really would, wouldn't it? It's a sudden thought you have, a strange sort of epiphany as you share this moment with Gwen. You want to know more about the things she loves. You would love to know more about the things she loves. Why did that repeat? About the kind of person she is, deeper and deeper beneath. Gwen is suddenly scowling. You quickly try to hide how smitten you are. Gwen all of a sudden seems flustered. You know, maybe... Maybe... We could... You you could... Hey. Dig! <laughs> Jimmy scares the crap out of both of you. Gwen jumps away, face redder than ever, and bolts out. Now that you're alone, you also discover that you were sitting a lot closer to her than you thought. You feel betrayed at missing the lack of distance as Gwen stays far away from you. We ran out of toilet paper. You also feel betrayed at how much you want to strangle Jimothy for interrupting. But you were not allowed to stab him, unfortunately. So instead, at an impasse, you must show him the photo of the dingus that looks suspiciously like Lena. Ah. When we were younger, my twin sister wanted to try drinking beer. And she's an idiot, so I told her you couldn't drink beer if you were under a certain height. Or if you're around people of that height. When she grew taller, I told her she could only legally drink at 3 a.m. in the morning because it was funny. I guess she felt like drinking when she was out with Gwen. Wow. Wait, twin sister? You remember Lena telling you she had a twin brother. You also re realized Jimothy's striking resemblance to Lena. God, the MC is such a fucking idiot. You decide to pretend to have known this already. I like the... I like the watermark down here. Soon after your internal turmoil, your friends return with food. Pepsi Zero. Alright. Let's see here. Um, all women are queens. Uh, touch the rock. You gently boop the rock in whatever, wherever its rocky nose is. Nothing happens. You, you risk your life just to prove my theory? For me? I, I'm so touched. I feel dis I mean disgusted. You inwardly appreciate her appreciation for your boundless bravery. Wait. Um, there you go. Hey, I'll drive you home. You may be a little sh surprised. Hardly Gwen hardly lets people in her car. At least not after the reversed ramen incident. Gwen refuses to meet your eye as she picks up her stuff and enters you out the door. You barely get a chance to say bye to the others. For the first few minutes, on the way to the car park, intense silence. You peek a glance in Gwen's direction. So, um, thanks for joining us today. 
and um, talking to me about cryptids and yeah. Gwen's obviously wants to say something else, so you wait patiently. That's, I mean, I I really hope we can hang out more. Her, her words are sincere. You can't help but smile. Me too. Hmm. Her face seems red, not to mention, are you okay? Your hand's twitching weirdly. Huh? This, I have to get ready for cryptids. My hands are twitching with anticipation. You stare at her. Something doesn't feel right. Her hands were moving to you like she wanted to. Oh. Oh. You hold her hand. She grips back. Her hands are cold and clammy and totally gross, but the look on her face makes it all worth it. Hey. Today, while we were, you know, at the table, I wanted to ask. Um, are you free this Saturday? I was thinking maybe we could go hunt the dingus. Just, just the two of us, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. But not like just that. I mean, it's like, uh, it's like a date, okay? You can't find any words. Hand to your chest, you manage to squeeze out some words. Wow, that's so romantic. Jeez, answer the question already, you nerd. Yes. What's wrong? Nothing. I mean, it's... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. As Gwen flashes a rare shy smile, you feel a little flutter in your chest. You think you're looking forward to it, too. Hey, Gwen? Yeah? Say something stupid. What? Why? I'll be the boogeyman to your closet. For some reason, Gwen, instead of looking at you with complete disgust, has a strange expression on her face. Hey, Gwen? Will you let me kiss you? <laughs> huh? You're already stepping towards her, and Gwen... Gwen doesn't move away. It's more of a graze on... of, of lip on cheek than a kiss. The faintest brush of intimacy still sears you with the heat. You look away, fast, red-hot face threatening to burn you both if you ever caught each other's eyes. Your own hand feels clammy and totally gross now, but right now, Gwen shows no sign of wanting to let go. In fact, for what it's worth, you quetch, you, yeah, you catch Gwen's own little smile. Ending. Gwen. Oh, hell yeah. Wait. <gasps> Did we catch Mothman? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm so here for that. All right, one more playthrough. We'll get Raffi in this. Um, me. Heck yeah. Gonna kick your ass. Uh, what? Taking a break, I want sandwiches. Um, Sir Swagger Balls. Whoa. Um, let's lounge on the couch. Yay. I'm having fun. Agree to help. All right. Uh, do you ever smile? Jimothy takes a sudden question surprisingly well. No. I smiled once when I was younger. It sucked. You don't know how to answer that, and Jimothy speaks no more. Now that Jimothy's silent, you start to reflect by yourself. Uh, there we go. Who the heck is he? He's my bitch. Uh, charm. Roll. Uh, make peace. Yeah, hmm, yeah, I, I knew it all along. You act very convincingly. True that it's possible, no one's seen. Uh, stay with Raffi. You, aw, you want to stay with little old me? Shush, let's go, Lena. Don't burn down the house. Yeah, Raffi asked for something terrible. As soon as the door closes behind them, you suddenly sense a great evil energy coming from behind you. Hey, me. Wanna help me out with a project of mine? 
you politely inquire what it is. Good deeds. Before you can ask what the heck she is talking about, she turns around to the cash behind. There's more cushions on it than you remember. Just as you wonder who put it there, Raffi throws some off. Oh god. I thought you were missing. He always does this. Every time. Hi. It looks like those two are pretty good friends. You remember your question of who the heck Jimothy even is? Is he like a childhood friend or something? And speaking of questions, you have no idea about Draffy's dark past. So, Jimothy, remember our thing? Jimothy nods, expressionless like always. Raffy grins and takes you by the hand. You're surprised by the sudden contact. Not that you hate it or anything. You're dragged off to a familiar place, the place the, the most the, the place the most important to mankind since the beginning of civilization, ensuring their survival. The bathroom. Wait. Jimothy, did you say you wouldn't draw on the bathroom mirror earlier? I did. Here's an important important lesson, my sweet me. People change minds. And they do it quicker with bribery. Also, I changed my mind to just stealing all her toilet paper. I got my own tissue. Also, she got me super she got me the super rare Yu-Gi-Oh card. <gasps> I won it from a crying seven year old last week. Alright. At the proud look on her face, you decide not to question it. Instead, you start working meticulously in taking all the toilet paper in the bathroom and hiding them under Raffi's orders. This is kind of fun. And even a and you even make a couple of amazing suggestions, like hiding it up hiding it up on the fridge where only you and Lena can reach it. Suck it short. I think we're done. Having finished your workout, you are filled with a sense of satisfaction you only get after a job well done. Now Lena will understand what it means to face unprepared disaster, and she'll emerge stronger from this trial. Wow, how thoughtful of her. Raffi turns to you with a grin. For some reason, you feel heat on your face. It's nothing unusual, this kind of situation. It's not your first time aiding her good deeds, and it's definitely not the first time she looks at you like that. Dazzling smile and familiar fondness. It's nothing unusual, just the two of you. You don't hate it. Suddenly, you sense a great chaotic energy coming from behind you. Raffi is already right in front of you, which means... Hi. Jimothy. Raffi. This wasn't in our deal. You were supposed to leave my stash of tissue paper alone. What is it, Jimothy? I don't recall saying I wouldn't take yours. All toilet paper. Wasn't that the exact words? A gust of cold air settles between you three. You sense war. Jimothy's blank glaze flickers to you. Fine. Jimothy digs around his pocket and takes out his phone. As you stand confused, realization, then fear dawns on Raffi's eyes. Raffi holds out a desperate hand, but it's too late. Jimmy's phone screen flashes at you. Mood. Eh, an emo face? It doesn't look fake. That definitely is a screenshot of Raffi's MySpace in the mid-2000s. Whoa. As you process the image in front of you, you realize Raffi is gone? Only Jimothy stands with you in the kitchen, keep calmly keeping his phone back in his pockets. The door out of the kitchen swings open in someone's wake. Raffi? You look around in confusion. Using your powers of deduction, you conclude Raffi is, doesn't, <laughs> didn't evaporate into thin air. Instead, you've had out to the hallway. You hear Jimothy tagging after you like an unrepentant murderer like the unrepentant murderer he is, but right now you have more important things in mind. You find Raffi fast enough. You nearly miss it in front of the doorway to the bathroom, Raffi slumps on the floor, defeated. It's an unusual sight. She's usually al always so confident. Like when she's mixing Tabasco in Gwen's toothpaste, or unintentionally drives slow or intentionally drives slow in the left lane, or unplugged her phone at ten percent battery to charge hers. She's evil. But Jimothy's betrayal has brought her to her knees. Unsure of what to do, you cautiously call out her name. Raffi? I didn't want you to find out find out this about me. She sounds absolutely miserable, huddled in front of the bathroom. To be honest, ever since I befriended you, it's been weird. It's not like I have trouble making friends or anything. I even befriended Jimothy. 
and he hates people much more than he does now. But you, even when I was mixing Tabasco into in Gwen's toothpaste or was intentionally driving slow on the left lane or replaced all of Lena's anime posters with live, love, laugh signs, you are so evil. <laughs> I don't want to do them to you. I want to do it with you. Oh, and the phone thing was a complete accident. Sorry about that. You accept our apology. I've never been close to someone before. Being someone's number one, you or Gwen or Lena or Jimothy, but especially you, it feels strange. I want you to like me. I want you to think I'm cool. And now I don't know how to fix this. Raffi. It's just an emo phase. A little embarrassed, you scratch. Yeah. You scratch your cheek. Eventually, you bend down to the floor and meet her eyes. You don't need to fix anything. Seriously, what's a little goth phase every now and then? Emo phase. You ignore Jimothy. Anyways, you've already gotten the things you want, you know? I like you. I think you're cool. Hoping Rampy got what you wanted to say, you lower your face that it, that's hot with embarrassment. Somehow saying it in a roundabout way is even more embarrassing. You expect your laughter, but there's just silence. And when you look up, you see something kind of amazing. Raffi stares at you with a look you've never seen before. You stare back in awe. I... I... I gotta use the bathroom. Wait, you hit all the toilet paper! Before you can finish, Raffi slams the door of the bathroom, locking you out. In days, you wander back to the table to wait for others. You kind of want to eavesdrop when she emerges later to talk to Jimothy, but you resist. You also kind of feel like you've been hit by a hurricane. Very nice, soft hurricane. Soon after your internal turmoil, your friends return with food, and if Pepsi Zero even blah blah blah, okay. If she reads, she is a thoughts. Uh, don't touch the rock. Let's go, come on! Underneath her cheerful smile, there's a look of determination on her face. You're a little taken aback by her cheerful smile as she clings to you. As you bid the others farewell, you try very, very hard not to be overly curious about the warmth of her skin pressing along your body, against your body. When you're at the door, you feel her grip relax and she bumps your shoulder. Hey. Raffi looks at you, a strange seriousness coloring her expression. A rare shyness exudes from her. I, uh, just wanted to thank you for today, and, and... She seems lost for words, so you take her hand in yours. She eases into your hand, into your hold, and continues, head hung down. I try to look imper er, impenetrable all the time, but somehow, I don't hate that you know something embarrassing about me. Why? It's strange to see her without her usual laid-back smile, with her hair hud her head hung down, your gaze on the top of her head. There's a single strand of stray hair hanging loose out of her ponytail. And before you realize, you reach out to smooth it back, and before you realize, your true thoughts tumble out of you. Embarrassing? That was adorable. Jeez, this is what I'm talking about. It feels like Rafi has put down some kind of burden, straightening up and gaze avoiding yours, a rare shyness. You learn about Rafi, you also learn about yourself. Specifically, tentatively, you place a hand on your chest. It beats wild and strong, not like the fluttering you're feeling at all. It beats in a rhythm. You wonder how Rafi's heartbeat re sounds like. Hey, um, are you free this Saturday? Remember what I said about wanting to do things together? Do you maybe want to come, try coming with, with me to crush little kids and steal the Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yu-Gi-Oh battles? Like a date? Exactly like a date. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> I feel nice. I think I'm looking forward to it. The grip on your hand grows a teeny bit tighter, and you squeeze back in turn. The quickened pace of your heart makes you desperate to hold on to something. You can't wait for Saturday. That's what you realize. The way she pulls you along to her car fixes your gaze, fixes your gaze on her back. The way her, the way strands of hair tucked out of her ponytail swaying along with her movements. The way she glances back at you to see if you're following. The way her eyes capture every moment. After how your eyes capture her every moment, from the flowing hair to her pretty eyes. That's what you realize. 
I'm going to keep on saying something stupid. Against your better judgment, you decide to say something stupid. Raffi, you must be the yellow-eyed demon because you're my obsession. Fuck! She lets go of your hand. Fuck! Miserably, you look down at your empty hand. Raffi doesn't say anything. You expect a look of absolute disgust. Instead, she laughs, a beautiful laughter that sends waves of heat to your face. And then, and then her hands cup your cheeks, and then, I'm going to give you a kiss, okay? When she steps back, you can't, you still can't erase your grin, a hand placed gently on her, on the cheek, her, bleh. When she steps back, you still can't erase your grin, a hand placed gently on the cheek, her lips touched. Like the teaser she is, she merely smiles and takes your hand. She's acting all confident, but... The blush on her own face doesn't escape you. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking evil. <laughs> Although I do kind of love that. Alright, one more playthrough, just like everybody is just friends. Um, oh, hey, are they asleep? I think so. What's going on? When you open your eyes just to peek, you see only the floor. By the warmth your head is resting on, it seems you were sleeping on the knees of one of your friends. Soft hand strokes your hair, slowly and gently. Oh! Stay awake a little bit longer. You let your eyes drift half open, relaxing under their touch. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us, if only a short while. Maybe you're disappointed, maybe you had fun. I wonder if we met your expectations. I still hope you enjoyed our time together, even a little bit. We sure did. I mean, hey, no matter whoever you think yourself as, whether you want to um, hold hands or smooch or just stay friends, we love you. We all do. I know things can get tough for you. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't, I didn't want this to get emotional. Jeez. The world isn't as kind as we wish it were. You may not be accepted for who you are, even by someone you care deeply about. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you struggle, it might seem like bonds just slip through your fingers. And sometimes, you might just not know how to get close to people, how to heal, how to be yourself, how to be honest, how to do things right and make things right. You might feel very alone. You might feel like you may feel this way forever. And it's not true. It won't be for forever. You'll grow and change, and you'll meet more and more people as you grow and change. And one day, you're going to know none of us has to be lonely. In, what, in whatever world, in whatever unreality, as long as a memory of your bond remains, your bond is true, and we love you. The voices of your friends are soothing and calming. You drift back to sleep. I didn't need that! <laughs> Hello, hero. Chach. Okay. Let's just, um, we're gonna do this where... Heck yeah. Kick your ass. Let's do this. Are you Henry the 7th? The 8th? Because you're pretty sure you're, soon as you're perfect ideas as soon as they come. Ow! You did about half of that asshole's life. Good job, asshole destroyer. That sounded wrong. Nice shot. These are coldly at the metaphorical blood on your hands. You have no regrets, but you do. <laughs> Very looks very sorry. He hears himself in his confusion. <laughs> Alice, uh, I have nothing out, so you don't really do anything. No, the land is no more. Evil has been defeated. Uh, not knowingly. Sir Swagger Balls. Uh, okay, let's just do this really quick. <laughs> you hit me with your car. Why did you do that? You had it coming. Yeah! You don't regret smashing your guitar one bit. Yeah, okay. You're the nerd. Alright, who in the world are you? I'm just here to hang out with friends. Who the heck is he? Uh, sneak away. Go for stealth. Roll. He rolled. You know, I had to do it to him. Um. Are 
You sure? I gave you ultimate power. Yeah, I think Jimothy's here in the house anyways. Hm. Don't get lonely or whatever, I guess. I'll miss you, sweet cheeks. Don't burn the house down. Before they leave, you Chris. Okay. Lounge on the couch. Why are the cushions in a pile? You think you can probably stand to take one, or so you walk over and pick up a cushion. Oh, hi. Stop yelling. It's just me. Jimothy. What are you doing there? Being me. Did my sister and co, did you? Sister? Wait. Suddenly you remember. Lena had a twin sister. You realize said twin brother is right in front of you. Oh. You plan to continue to pretend you know this all along. I'll have you know I volunteered for the greater good. Was this where you were all along? Jimothy stares at you unsettlingly. You take that as a yes. You. Do you have anyone you like here? Like? 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 Huh? Here's a tip. If you like someone, try focusing on them a lot more. Especially during break time. They say girls want flowers and all, but really all they want is for you to choose to spend time with them, you know? What are you talking about? Do you have anything you want to know? About your Jimothy. I'm Jimothy. Yeah, I know that. Let me ask you a question. With great power comes great responsibility, yeah? Uh, huh? If a man holds knowledge others don't, knowledge that will crush his loved ones if they find out, and the man himself doesn't have the ability to help once he divulges it, would you consider this power? If so, does the man have a responsibility to protect that knowledge? Um, yes. Your judgment has been noted. What? I'm gonna go pee. Timothy left. What? Soon. Okay. Burr, burr, burr. Touch the rock. Uh. Glenn approves loudly. Very disappointed with. Yes. It observes it. You have no idea what's up. Did the sorcerer somehow create? Okay. Why don't you stay over, Josh? Um, you can stay on the couch. You, you can stay the night on the couch with Jimothy. He stays over too sometimes. That's really nice, actually. Can I do that? I don't mind. You say your goodbyes to your friends, and as they leave one by one, they seem oddly shy as. Y you tell them they enjoy, as they tell them that you enjoy yourself. You hope you can hang out with them more. It's soon time for bed. You insist you're taking the couch. It's huge as hell as always. Um, Lena reluctantly agrees. As you get ready for bed, you realize there's a lot more cushions on the couch than there were before. As this tends way of preparing to sleep, this chair looks comfy. You think about your friends and wonder what the future will hold in store. Happily, you get ready for bed. Shift the cushion to make it more comfortable. <laughs> Jimothy? <laughs> You're left with me now. As his eyes, his powerful eyes peers into your soul, you realize you cannot resist him. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jimothy, oh, oh. Oh, boy. I don't know if that's the end, but I'm gonna call it there. <laughs> I got, I got, I got like a extra ending there, so um, I don't know if there's anybody even in here, which is fine. Um, <laughs> I got two people. Well, for those people who have been kind of swinging and staying around, I appreciate that you've been around. Um. I'm gonna hop off because while normally I would end at 10, I have been streaming since 4 and I've completed this game as much as I think I can and I've finished Hive Swap. Um, I might go back to that one on my own time and play it so that I get like as good an ending as possible, like hopefully preventing people from dying, but again, that would be on my own time. So, um... Yeah, <laughs> uh, I do want to do more of these longer streams as time goes on. It's just difficult because I do have a regular day job and I do want to work on videos as a whole. Um, I think I also forgot to upload my Kingdom Hearts videos, so I'm just going to save that for April. Uh, I'll edit the audio for it so it's not too big a deal. And yeah, 
<laughs> um, I think that's all I have to say. I do appreciate having people around for as long as I have. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I will probably also stream next Wednesday. Uh, my normal time is 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So uh, I just had extra time today. And I'm going to take a quick break. So, Niku, we'll keep a bye.